said you said, a, uh, you, said you were taking an edible. How how many milligrams? A hundred. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a nice little dosage there. It's a big so you're in a. Aren't you in? Well, never mind. I guess I won't go too into it. I, no, I, that's fine. Yeah, it's you're not in Tennessee. Legal here. It's not legal yeah. here. No. But you Good know luck. what? My my theory on that, Kyle, is good luck. <laughs> if they arrest me, it'll be the best thing that ever happened to my career. So come get me. You, you know, know what I mean? Kyle disagrees <laughs> because he I was arrested they... for this. Were Do you, you arrested know? for drugs though? I had half an ounce of marijuana. Yeah, yeah. Which isn't a whole lot. I'm aware. No. So what happens for half an ounce of heroin? Um, heroin. If you set <laughs> aside the half million dollars worth of seized property and legal fees, uh, five thousand dollar fine, two months in federal prison, and two years of federal probation. So. I think here in Nashville. Now I can't say for the rest of Tennessee. Federal. It's everywhere in the United States. Yes. I know it is federal every United States, but there are some areas that decriminalize it, right? And so here, I'm not saying in other parts of Tennessee, but this Nashville is a fairly progressive, especially for Tennessee City. And so um I've asked a ton of people who live here before I started, and they were like, Yeah, hey, yeah, uh, it'll you're gonna be fine. So I was like, Phew. but the hundred milligrams is what I take before my late show on Saturdays. Okay, that's a nice dose. I'm doing, a, I'm doing, a, I'm doing a full gram when I get to Colorado next week. Fucking Christ, dude! You what? I'm doing a full gram when I get to Colorado next week. And you have nice? me to yeah, for for, uh, for for this show. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a full gram uh, at the beginning of the show, and uh, you know, can you then, do the Kyle? Countdown? Kyle, what it? By the I way, feel Kyle like this snuck up on me. If you ever wanted to do that, Nine I would days. do it with you. If you ever wanted to do that live, I would do that with you 100 percent Well, thousand milligrams. That's that's too much. You're not gonna have I'm fun. aware you're it's gonna, too much. You're, you're gonna be I'm gonna get scared. Really, you're gonna be very scared, and you're gonna think that, like, is it really legal that I'm doing this right now? Have I Taylor, been set up? We're going to a scary place. <laughs> He's gonna be scared after the three hours that he thinks he's on a different planet. Yeah, yes. once you can like form thoughts again, yeah. you'd be afraid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you should do, Josh, is like this is uh pretty much every state has this stuff called Delta Eight that's legal. Yeah, we have it, it here. Yeah, yeah. I just take those like gummies, like Delta Eight, and it it's just a weaker version of weed. You just need to take a little more, but it they is don't more relaxing. I yeah, you're if you're taking a hundred of like real weed, then your tolerance is probably too high for that to, to fuck with you. But I like well, so William Wallace, how is your freedom? Oh man, we've been having a great time. Just a Good. great time. Yeah. Um landed a couple days ago and uh got to our place here and uh just been smoking a lot of marijuana. It's been a good time. Who's Did there? You? Oh yeah. Who's um Z T and Scum and uh Chocolate Thunder and um fish right now. It's a good group. It's a good yeah. group. It's a good group of fellas. What so it's just been has anybody <clears throat> been trying to push you into activities and you've had to be like <laughs> and you've had to be like, I don't know if you thought I was joking in the way we were leading up to this, but no, I, I'm going to get high all day. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they they they've attempted it to to no avail. You know? <laughs> Dumbasses. <laughs> they thought yeah. you were being facetious. For we one thing, them. for one thing, I have just so like no no tolerance whatsoever. So like just a little bit, like not only is really strong, but it lasts for a really long time. Like I'll mm -hmm. be I'll be high for like four hours or something stupid, and um, so if I smoke the wrong thing, then I end up just passing out and going to sleep for four <laughs> hours in the middle of the day anyway. So waste of money. Has has that happened a couple it, times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I slept in today. I slept in today. I was like, uh, they were like, "Hey, go karts," and I was like, "You know what? I'm gonna sleep right up until the right up until PKN. That's what I'm gonna do." <laughs> you guys you should guys... go. Oh. You guys should go ride some go karts, though. <laughs> I want to see you rent motorcycles. I, I know, I know, I like it, but also Scum is there, and he is the wheelie master. I wish I was. So I just want it to happen. That's all. It's not going to happen. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? You set clear boundaries, Kyle. I have to live with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just uh, throw some cold water on months months leading it. <laughs> I talked about the possibility of it, but then when we got down to the nitty gritty of it, Ducati it was like body scramblers or it something. It was like, but where was I going to put my helmet? And like, like I have two bags and they're both like packed to the brim with all mm -hmm. of my stuff. 
they're really honest. Like, I mean, I did bring my sous vide, but other than that, there weren't really any luxury items that I packed along for the trip. I really couldn't have fit the helmet unless I wore it onto the plane or something. So have, uh, I'm sure, is it weird? Because I'm assuming you have the lowest tolerance of anyone there. Mm, and that's probably so. not a position you've ever been in with weed. Mm-mm. And so for <laughs> once, you're the one where it's probably fish sitting there like, oh man, just try one more of these, just half of one. Just half of one, and you're just getting too. I are you even able to do edibles right now? You're probably getting no. so ripped on just no. vape hits that you don't even need it. Oh wait, no, you have to build your tolerance in the next two days. <laughs> That's not going to happen. I'm just Kyle, going to. You, be, I'm going to be a, a zombie. I'm just going to be something. Yeah, I'm just going to be a zombie on PKA. Is is what's going to happen? And I'm going to put my sunglasses on, and I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to like. I'm just going to nod when you guys say things. Maybe not take <laughs> it the first few minutes. Like, help us out a little bit for half a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you give us the first two hours so, can, so it's not just a nap? Yeah, if maybe. you get that high, I'm going to get the vape in protest. <laughs> <laughs> no, joking. no, please don't. We we do that in protest. I just go eat way too many Delta Eight gummies. You get the vape, and it's just. Episode and we all five hundred, whatever. Nothing. We just nap. <laughs> yeah. But if you guys I, like really thought about like black holes, like, <laughs> none of us know fucking. What I'll probably about it. what I'll probably the- do is I'll take it about two hours into the show. Mm-hmm. That way, you get two hours of like this version of me, which is still a little altered, but mm. can form sentences. And then like it starts kicking in like two hours into the show, mm-hmm. and so. Oh no! I would take it two hours into the show, but it would start kicking in like an hour later, and then like right at the end of the show, I would be the least uh, the least here version of me that there was going to be. Have you done any uh, sous vide cooking yet, or no? No, dude, no. We haven't been, done. <laughs> we, you have you done any Uber Eats or Postmates yet? We made some tater tots last night. Um, that was the, that's the extent of the cooking so far. <laughs> but um, I had a lovely charcuterie board on the flight over, um, so that was cool. Oh, the yeah, flight was flexing on poor Taylor. Wow. <laughs> yeah. The uh, we landed we landed in Denver, and I was excited to be, I was high when I landed because I smoked Delta Eight. Mm-hmm. So like uh, I smoked Delta Eight, which is legal in Georgia but illegal in Colorado. So before I got on the plane, I just got real good and high, and. Uh, when when I landed, they couldn't get the uh, bridge to attach to the plane. Oh no! That's for almost an hour, for almost an hour, That's we sat long. there, and they had already taken the luggage out. So now it's kind of weird moving the plane because the the uh, the weight distribution is all wrong, um, and uh-huh. they're like uh, their tail their tail heavy. He said, and so what they need to do is leave this terminal and go to a new one that has a better like bridge attachy thing. Whatever I, that I hope called. they told everyone to walk to the front. <laughs> I, Attention, you passengers. Must you're not, come, <laughs> sir. We're right gonna up need here you to come to first class. <laughs> we are gonna All need right. everybody to jump on three. <laughs> 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 we sat there for forty-five minutes, and you, you ever see like a professional struggling with their area of expertise? Yeah, and you want to be like, "Hey, do this," but you're like, "But I'm not an airline pilot, am I?" Turns out I'm not a cardiologist. Maybe I'll let him make the incision. But I was sitting there like, why don't we just pull forward a little? An hour after we've been sitting there, he goes, we're going to try to, we're going to try a little maneuver here. He pulled forward two feet and hooked up. I swear to God this happened. He pulled forward two feet and hooked us up and we all got off the plane. That sucks. So just an hour of your time responsible for you not being pulled far enough. Was it the pilot? It was probably the guy on the ground with the flashlights. Um, I don't know, but like my, uh, the guy sitting next to me, his wife was actually in the terminal. So she was taking pictures so you could see the outside like viewpoint and sending them to him. And they're like two guys on top of the plane. The pilot's like looking out of, out of the, Mm -hmm. um, window. He's got the windows open and they're just yelling at each other. I I don't know what the fuck happened, but when I finally got on the ground, I was so happy that that was just over that I was just off that plane because it it didn't seem like we were going to get off. Seemed like they were just going to turn around and take us back to Atlanta. <laughs> just, we're With trying no to maneuver. We're going to go back to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> turns out being tail heavy makes launching easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, turns out we have someone who illegally brought, uh, oh. not, not the product, but they were high on Delta 8 right now. We're, <laughs> we're flying. We're going to parachute them off at an Alabama penitentiary. <laughs> you weren't high when you landed, were you? Like yeah. A good time to over. Yeah, sure. No, they were still going. 
Oh yeah, I was still high. Yeah, I was still high when I landed. Yeah, for sure. Just no tolerance whatsoever, and everything lasts longer too. Um, so that's been interesting. What we went to? In, oh, go ahead. We went to the most depressing place I've ever been to. Um, so there's this. There, there <laughs> what are were fresh, you doing in Conway? <laughs> <laughs> there are uh, there are very few places in in like Denver that you can smoke that aren't you're like your like private mm-hmm. place, like your hotel room or your uh, some hotel rooms allow it, but you know your whatever you're renting your house, that sort of thing. Um, but one of them, it was, it's called like, um, it's that place where you and I talked about Taylor. The, um, Oh, the little cafe place, the little cafe. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me that it was like something out of a horror movie in there? I mean, it's a little seedy, but I don't remember. It being, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember it being that bad. Dude, we're, we, we're led into this place where she's like, we have coffee, tea and water. They're free. Would you like a bag of Funyuns? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like not only Funyuns. What's their though, profit model? They don't have one because something about the zoning or the property rights there, um, they don't technically own the place. They're like renting it. And because they're renting it, they can't sell food, which doesn't make any sense to me. That's bizarre. Did um, you pay for anything? The weed. We paid for weed. But I thought that was a different place, the way you described it previously. Okay. They're They're like... Right next to each other. They're like yeah. right, they're attached. They're they're attached at the hip, like same entrance and everything. Mm-hmm. You just kind of turn left, and it's the same staff. And th- that's the racket that you buy weed from their terrible dispensary, and then you smoke it. And they're incredibly terrible cafe. <laughs> we, you go, we went to this back room with a big table that had cigarette burns all over it, a TV that didn't work, and an old couch in the corner. And uh, and and we just sat there, and like one of the blo- one of the walls was nothing but like co- painted concrete blocks, like like uh-huh. like like high school, and the other was uh like like this really dingy board that was like warping into the room, and I w- I was like, we gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get the fuck out of here. I feel like, like, like we're doing more than just weed in here. <laughs> if, if we were watching a movie and and people were hanging out here, we'd be like, why are they still there? Why are they still there? <laughs> Why haven't they left? Don't they know, you know, that the the one-legged patron behind the bar who's like saying cryptic messages at Don't them they smell the bodies? Don't they smell the bodies? <laughs> okay, These two places have the yeah. same owner. Right. Oh, 100%. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, I, I, there's more than one of these places. Like this is like a common thing. I Not I really. Not- the, the, I don't remember a CD back room. Then again, I didn't get anything from there. I was with oh, my cousin, you didn't go into the CD it was back room. Like we just went over there briefly, and then we're high, and then went out to a restaurant. So we didn't really spend any time there. Yeah, we had, we hung out there for a little bit, waiting on people to land. Do you have any plans to cook, or yeah, not yeah? Whenever um, we can get the, the the great minds that have assembled here in Colorado together. To, uh, to to decide on one meal, I'll do that. I'm making up some sort of breakfast casserole for everyone in the morning with like sausage and egg and cheese and hash browns. Like that thing that like Woody's wife made for me one time that was really fucking good. Um, when I stayed over, she made this breakfast casserole, and oh. I went home. I went home and told I was like, in North Carolina they have a breakfast dish called breakfast casserole. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> it's all your normal breakfast ingredients, but layered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you liked it. It literally is. It was so good. I'll pass so that good. on. Yeah. <laughs> so as you know, obviously at least one person has been getting a little too uppity with wanting to do things and not just chill. <laughs> what Who what was is, it? Give us the name. Who wants was to it do fish? something? I bet it was scum. Scum just looks like an active person. I think it might have been ZT. I think it might have been ZT. Damn, um both wrong. Yeah. Um I, I, I think I think so. Um I don't plan on doing very much of anything. I'm going. I do want to do uh, the the go kart riding. Mm-hmm. That's going to be about it. That's going to be about it. That's because, enough for one week. Because the thing is, um, two weeks. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait, is it the same crew for? I'm, no, it, it's so some they, leave, some leave, and then some filter in. Like like a few a few get replaced, a few don't. Um, because this this weed is like so so strong, and I have no tolerance yeah. whatsoever. Like. The smallest amounts are like crippling amounts of, of, of weed. Like, like, um, like, 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 I don't need to be doing anything right now um, that, that requires any sort of responsibility or, or, uh, or know how. Um, I made fish those tater tots last night and I was so careful getting them out of the oven. I was like, <laughs> I was like, hang on, let's think about this a minute. We're, 
Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna want the pot holders. I wasn't sure at we're first. Gonna want the pot holders. <laughs> it's four hundred. Well. Was it just like four hundred and fifty <laughs> degrees? <laughs> Wait, do you have a thin napkin? <laughs> Soak it in water first. That'll keep it cold. If you get your hands wet, you can you can quickly <laughs> pull it out of. The, so it, for, it was just a for those who don't know that'll steam Ida, burn you, right? Just what now? Or, just a frozen bag of like Orida. Yeah, I, I put them in a fucking metal pan and and, and baked them yeah. for twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah, that, that was the cooking. But no, I'm going to do that breakfast casserole uh, in the morning. Mornings are a good time to to get to me because I'm you're I'm, not high yet. I'm not high yet. <laughs> um, what are you? What are you, what are you? I don't know how to ask it. Are you doing edibles? Are you smoking flour? What do you smoke out of? I'm curious about. This um. Thing. I've been smoking um, a, uh, a disposable vape a lot. Um, that's like ninety fucking percent um, THC. Oh. So like one hit of it is is just so so strong. Um, oh, so I probably have a bitch vape. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I didn't realize that vapes were more like taking dabs now, um, or at least some of them are. And uh, and so I've got like a one gram you've vape. You changed your opinion on vapes, perhaps, because you were kind of anti vape a month or two ago. Yeah, um, this vape is incredibly, incredibly strong. Like like one one or two hits of it is. Uh, sometimes I'll get high and I'll forget what I'm doing and I'll just sort of be like puffing, like I'm yeah. got my nicotine vape, <laughs> and it's like, oh no, oh no! <laughs> like, it, it, Someone else is going to have to handle the tater tots tonight. I'm literally like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my like recliner chair, like like leaned all the way back with my hands like this, and I'm not trembling, but I'm vibrating on the inside, and I'm just <laughs> and, and and nobody else can like fathom how high I am, so I'm just not even bothering to tell them because what are they going to do with that information? But are you, are you getting to that point where like when you tell your hand to move, it's behind your like mental impulse little, and you're little like, input you're like, lag you're like yeah the input lag that's when i can tell like oh i'm i'm way too fucking high yeah yeah um i've gotten way too high like several times already uh just from smoking because like they'll smoke joints and they get these fancy caviar joints that are like marijuana mixed with like concentrated marijuana rolled into a really big joint and uh We'll pass that thing around. It sounds I, potent. It's very. <laughs> 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 it's, it's the best weed you can imagine, rolled in the best concentrate you imagine, with the best crystals on earth, <laughs> on the, the, wrapped in a pot leaf. They managed to make <laughs> the, the wrapping out of mushrooms. <laughs> they're I mean, they, they pick might. it up. It'll leach into your skin. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, and, and like yeah. like two or three hits of that, and and I'm just way way too high um so yeah just 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 a little bit of anything and i'm and i'm way too high so it's been really easy to get there what's the entertainment been like like what was like number one on your docket of i'm stoned to shit let's put this on you know i really didn't care once i was stoned so we watched a bunch of stuff so far uh a lot of trailer park boys um because a few of them had never seen the trailer park boys that's surprising Um, i'm looking forward (laughs) to being here for a few more days we're just getting started really you're gonna Um, stay in that building for the next two for the first two weeks does that sound right yeah i'm coming back after two weeks for sure mm-hmm. oh because you had previously talked about extending another for, way yeah, to stay there yeah, yeah 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 i i I considered staying out longer but now that i'm here i'm I, i'm I, two weeks is going to be plenty of this yeah this, two okay. weeks is plenty of this okay. um and and also like um having tried that delta eight before i left mm-hmm. uh georgia that shit's really strong like it's it's just yeah. it's i don't know why people call it weed light like like those people have a problem <laughs> they should they should they should seek out some some assistance because good god i took a hit of um that delta eight um like concentrate vape and it was much stronger than any of the weed that i've smoked like like it's it's really? so it was so goddamn strong wait pause on that stronger than the weed you smoked in colorado yeah yeah is it Damn. possible you're not a good you're not qualified to measure right now um i think i am I think okay. I am. I don't know. I took one hit of that thing and I was just pants on head high. And then <laughs> and then I smoked, you know, like a good bit out here. And I get that high, don't get me wrong, but yeah. like with more of with more weed than just one I hit. Just, you're a shell of who you used to be. You used to be an, <laughs> old, an Olympic level pot consumer. You yeah. were world class. And now <laughs> I, mean, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but you've faded since. I then. have, and I, and I, I, I hardly respect your opinion on Delta Eight. To it's, be honest with you, it's, it's amateur time over here. Um, <laughs> you don't even seem to have a drug problem. Um, 
<laughs> I mean, my friend smoked it too, and he was like, he was like, oh yeah, it's it's really fucking strong. Um, um, I I think they just are. I, I went to the uh, the vape shop that I normally get um, mm-hmm. like nicotine vapes, and I was like, you got Delta Eight, right? She's like, right here next to the nicotine stuff. And it's like, oh my god, I don't need a you need a special all this time. <laughs> I mm-hmm. knew it was there, but I w- I didn't want to yeah. look like like uh, I'd go in there and like avert my eyes like, like I wouldn't look over there at the the over the counter stuff that's essentially just as good as weed that that uh, that everyone here can smoke. Um, is there so, anything yeah. a consumer needs to know when buying Delta Eight? Do you say I want Delta Eight concentrate? Give me the ninety percent. Are you? Uh, I don't know. Um, I I would um, I would go online and do some research about the different vape companies because mm-hmm. you know it's not FDA approved, so you want to mm-hmm. find a company that's a, a well-known company, I think. So you're not smoking anything weird, but um, I just got a vape pen, and they came in half grams and full grams, and I got a half gram, and it was really, really fucking strong. Um, but I don't know anything about it. I'm not not well enough to uh, tell anybody about it. Other than my ex- my anecdotal experience the uh, the other night was that it was really, really fucking strong. <laughs> God, you have your Dr. Peppers. Yeah, back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Did Fish bring him? No, I never ran out. He was just offering if the if you know oh. if, if this one runs dry, he's there like a pit crew. I, nice I feel guy. like we have not mentioned the fact that you are a free man in Colorado. <clears throat> to us, it seems like we did PKN, but most people didn't see that. Mm-hmm. Oh, those people. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, Check I, out I'm, the Patreon for PKN. An extra hour of the three of us retards. Oh, week. the best hour. Um, the best hour. The one we try on. So, <laughs> yeah, this this shit sucks, <laughs> but it sucks by design. We're to going to, to go buy yeah. the good stuff. Yeah, well, you, you might not know it, but we do PKN shirtless. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Or at least Woody always pa- does, and pantsless. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, landed in Colorado on Saturday, and uh, I've just been real high uh, ever since. <laughs> um, having a great time. Um, I did do Delta Eight before um, I came out here because I wanted to be able to compare the two. Delta Eight to me is just as strong as like there was the gap after else. midnight where you were free but still in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. So um, I I there tried that Delta Eight stuff and it was still it was really really stuff. strong, really strong. I got a, uh, a Delta Eight vape and then um, you know when I got here I compared it to like a strong marijuana vape and. I think the Delta Eight is at least as strong, and maybe even fucking stronger. It was so goddamn strong. I, I meant to mention it on PKN because you were <clears> like, because <throat> you talked about how like before you smoked, like you weren't that into vapes. You liked like the concentrates, like using a dab rig, and it's like it was funny thinking like you were out of the game for so long that technology increased to the point that like you're hitting it, and you're like, it's just like taking a dab. Yeah, but it's in a pen. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, being out of the weed world for four years. Is like, I mean, like this is the burgeoning industry. Like it's changed. It's like one of those percent. prisoners that are like, dude, phones have screens now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> pay phones um, are gone. <laughs> yeah. For those who don't know what you're talking about, like when, when I was smoking a lot of weed five years ago or whatever, it seemed to me that like vape pens were like weak sauce. It was like mm-hmm. an electronic joint, essentially. You told and me I hadn't even been high. I'm not sure you have. But hmm. <laughs> I mean, I, I want to believe um, I mean, kind of like, just just like, in, you know, kind of Mulder and the X-Files kind of kind of kind of thought process. I, I, two hour point. Um, I'm you're going to go get, you know, you're gonna get hydrated. Yeah, yeah. Go get hydrated. Right. Um, so but yeah, it seemed to me at least like five years ago when I, when I would smoke a vape pen out here that like it was kind of weak sauce. It was kind of like a, a, a really weak joint that you had to hit like 10 times to get stoned. And even then, it was kind of this, like, m- like head high, not, not not really a body high. It was kind of a, a giggly high. But um, the one that I got out here immediately, like a sixty dollar one gram pen, um, it is more like a dab rig or something. It's what it feels like to me. Granted, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. either that technology has advanced, um, <laughs> and, and they just literally are stronger, or I just have no sense of like um, any tolerance whatsoever. Because um, not only does it a small amount get me really stoned, but it lasts for like three or four hours, which is something I'm not accustomed to. So, well, yeah, yeah, that's and blame truth. I, yeah. Do you have the expertise to compare marijuana to Delta Eight? Because Kyle's opinion doesn't match what I read online. Yeah, I, I, I definitely do. I do, do not. No, I do not. 
Uh, it's like I feel like Delta Eight is more. It's I feel like there's almost like a cap on it, like a ceiling. Like you need to get like take a ton of it. And I've definitely taken too many Delta Eight edibles before, and like woken up the next day and been like, "Oh, I'm still definitely high," but it it's not as strong as regular edibles or regular weed because like I've eaten like 50 milligram edibles of like real shit when I'm out in Colorado and I'm real fucking hot for a lot of people. That's a huge amount for a lot of people. That's fucking nothing. Like that's how the tolerance thing works. But I'm like, I'll like get to like a borderline. I'm really uncomfortable and then get away from that and be back to normal. Whereas like 50 milligrams of Delta eight, like I'm, I'm fucking hunky dory. It's going it, to, there's no mind aspect to it really. Like it's not very mental. It's just like a body buzz, physical, like relaxation high. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I almost prefer it more, honestly. Oh, like it's, I didn't, it, I didn't it, understand well, that you if it were, that if it were legal, if regular weed were legal here, I'd switch to regular weed if it was the same cost. But Delta 8 is cheaper than. The, the shit in Colorado. Like, Kyle, like, you have that one gram thing for 60 bucks. A one gram thing here with Delta 8 is like 30 bucks. Mm-hmm. I, I got like one of these for like 29.99. What is that? And they, a, this is like the a same. Gum? It's a little vape, oh. a Delta 8 vape. And they, like, this is a one gram one. It, they last, this is still half full. I've had this for weeks. Like, uh, and it's it was not the $30 only one. And you've had it for weeks. I've had, it's not the only one I have, <clears throat> but like, yeah, these last a super long time. Because again, like you don't need to just rip. You don't want to like just sit and rip it all day. Like I'll take a hit. Like it's one of those things where like sometimes like you have a stressful day and it's like, damn, I'm gonna hit that pen a million times and I'm gonna soar off into the sky. And then like you sit down, and you hit it once, maybe twice, and then like two hours later, it's like, oh yeah, I was gonna hit it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> <Really high. laughs> it's uh, what form was? The, I, I just assumed that you had a Delta Eight vape pen, but. I don't think you ever said what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I um, I got this little uh, it was a uh, like shaped like an oval. Uh, this vape pen uh from my local like um, vape shop, and uh, I took one hit, and it didn't really work. Like it wasn't heated up yet, mm-hmm. and I took it. So I took a second that actually did work, and that was enough to get me so, so like like just coughing my lungs out and like salivating. So to the point where I'm like spitting in the sink and like throwing cold water in my face. Yeah. Um, it was never that harsh again, uh, but that first hit was like super duper harsh. Yeah, uh, they, they and I was off. It was like it was it was like burning some plastic out of the way to, <laughs> to like to like get to the Delta Eight. Who knows that, that that shit's not FDA approved? Nobody's looking over their shoulder. There could be anything in there. That's the that's the real I, issue. I do know that. Uh, um, I like as far as people who have like really high weed tolerances. I have one friend who used to smoke an insane amount and he had to stop because of some job thing. And then he switched to Delta eight, which you'll still p- piss hot on Delta mm-hmm. eight. So, uh, mm. but for him, like he needed like three times the amount of Delta eight to get to the same level as weed. Like, mm. and maybe that's like a specific tolerance thing. It's weird. It's, it's, it's like your tolerance varies so much. Whereas with like booze, like, you know, it, it doesn't. Did, did someone tell me, maybe it was Taylor, I guess but I'm not sure that, if you build up a delta eight tolerance, that doesn't cross over to pot and vice versa. Yeah, it someone was telling us to. that. Yeah, like yeah, just interesting. Anecdotally, like when when I was on vacation and smoked after doing nothing but delta eight for a while, just a couple hits off of a joint or or a blunt, and I was like too high. So, yeah. Oh, so it, your tolerance recovered while you did delta eight? That <laughs> <laughs> because I went and I was, is, I, was I was like, oh, this is solved. How like uh, a tolerance break sucks. <laughs> Literally, yeah. We, just, we don't do tolerance breaks. We just rotate crops. We just switch <laughs> drugs. We just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's great and like uh, like the biggest edge it has over weed is the price. At least here, it is so much fucking cheaper than like uh, <clears throat> stuff even at the dispensary. Because I've looked online at like if you get your medical card, what the dispensary is like. A friend of mine has it, and it is easily twice as much for the same amount at the dispensary. Yeah, um, but again, you know, it's not regulated, and we're not 100% sure what the fuck's in there, um, which is a little scary. I think I'm going to do some research online when I get back to, like, find a more reputable, uh, like, Delta 8 source or, like, company, maybe somebody who does it. Yeah, find a good brand that makes good stuff. I feel like the gas station's not. (laughs) 
<laughs> so that's like I, don't, I went I, I went I to a vape shop. That. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I thought it was so like they sell it at gas stations. I they think. do sell it at gas stations, but I went to the vape shop because I felt like it might be a more reputable brand if it came out of a glass case instead of like some guy reaching back behind the lotto tickets. You might be right. I never considered this. Like when I buy a Monster Energy drink because I'm driving tired, mm -hmm. I never <laughs> consider how reputable the source is. No, no, I guess not. <laughs> that's because there's no brands with this stuff. I mean, there are, but I don't recognize them. So this could be the Coca-Cola of. Of, mm -hmm. uh, of Delta Eight, or it could be like the Hyundai. I don't know. I you don't know, know, that's a that's a yeah. thing. I went to. Uh, well, there's a there's a gas station kind of near me. That best way I can put it is everything in the store is like expired. <laughs> I'm, 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 I, I wish I was joking. I, I got these some, things uh, have to be 18 years old when they're Fritos and like. <laughs> I mean, it's Coke everything Cola. in the store. Uh, I got some of those sour punch straws. You know, they're like kind of chewy. You ever had them? Anybody ever had them? <laughs> yeah, uh, when I was like eight. Hey. Yeah, well, fuck, fuck it, man. Like they're good. And uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, th these these were hard as a rock. I could have like wrapped <laughs> them around my hand and used them as like brass knuckles or something. It was. Mm -hmm. insane um super expired i still ate them though fuck it i mean candy but, um, i don't know the candy really does expire it, it probably doesn't i'm gonna tell myself that at least but neither does canned food out there you know i like to give a little public service announcement announcement occasionally we've told i've told people a lot about salt and the non-dangers of it um <laughs> and then my any, blood pressure went up yeah that's because <laughs> Come on, you got you got better genetics than Woody, though, right, guys? Like, yeah, you, you're probably. not some salt sensitive Nancy that, that can't handle them, <laughs> and a little more They're salt not on your table. Half a hundred on the uh, calendar, either. That's, some That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, but 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 also the um, oh shit, what were you talking about? I lost my train of thought. The um, Delta Eight brands. He's talking uh, about what's the good, candy. What's bad sour candy, punch straws. Old, oh, canned food. Canned food, canned food never goes gets old. Canned food has exp expiration dates on it, like those cans of soup and stuff, or That's green just beans. Just a trick by big can to make you buy new ones. They had to put something there. They had. They couldn't just write. Who knows? <laughs> 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 and that's the truth, though. Like, like, like seventy-five years, and those peas are still good. Just starting to talk about last week's PKA. It's awesome. <laughs> it's <was> awesome. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor it's always the best episode ever. <laughs> Perhaps that everybody Taylor, loved it. <laughs> Taylor was saying before, right before we pressed record, he was like, "I finished the show and I thought, Taylor, you're doing good. That was a good performance by you." Yeah, and it's and, it's so funny when that happens too, because more often than not, if I do have a thought about the show afterward, it's like thinking of missed opportunities or like shit that you botched or fumbled over your words on. And so like to finish one and be like, that was, man, that, that, that feels like it was a pretty good one. And then <laughs> it's just <laughs> the, the least favorite one in, in um, ever, in like, ever. We had a 90% dislike ratio at one point. I think it's gone up since then, but I don't know what it is. And uh, I was like, you've made 3000 videos. I'm not sure you've ever had this bad a dislike ratio. That's a lot of videos to break new ground with. So it's, they're, they're mad because I didn't do the edible on last week's show. Is that it? Yes. That's, yeah. That and, seems oh, to be I want to talk about that a little bit. So I sort of fouled up in my faulty memory. I thought we at least talked about it or explained it. And it may have been pre-show or it, you think it was pre-show? Because I know for a pre fact it was because we talked to Blame Truth about it. Shit. Here's what, what, what happened was, believe it or not, I'm really fucking high over here. And uh, and like planning things isn't isn't going to plan very well. Um, but no, we we like discussed this before the thing. I was like, yeah, I don't I don't have the edibles yet. I'm gonna have to do it next week, which is this week's PKA. And my memory of that was that it was part of the show. So like as we progressed through the show, I was kind of like, yeah, we covered that thing. And uh, and we had also talked about you know being out here and just smoking and having mm -hmm. a good time and the whole vacation and everything. So. Um, now, why so, couldn't you take 10 100s? Because it's, it's something about a medical card, and, and I don't know what I'm Because about. then I would need, I would be one tenth of the way there. Did you say 10 100s? Yeah. yeah. You can't get 100s. I think you can only get 100s if like you have a medical card, but recreational users have it capped at like 10s or something like that. 
Is that right? She would need to take a hundred tens. Yes. So, <laughs> so that would so, be so that, funny. So How obviously, chat doesn't seem to know that. <laughs> so, so obviously, like, like uh, that's a bit of a slow up too. Got to make sure that we can get an edible powerful enough uh, for me, which I, I think we have uh, figured out how to do. Um, well, you have by tomorrow or so to get it. Yeah, done. by Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's we'll be good. Um, I You're think making me nervous, um, Kyle. I want this delivered. I, I'm, you know, I guess I'll take it like two hours into the show. That way I'm awake yeah. for two hours and then slowly going to sleep for two hours. I mean, if you take a thousand, if you take a gram, like I, you might throw up. I will throw up. Yeah. yeah. You'll probably vomit. Dirty, because dirty that's, not, that's not a pleasant amount to have. I'm as underestimating as, the severity of this dose. It's a, uh, it's a ridiculous amount to take. Like it's uh, absurd. A hundred gets you fucked beyond it way too much a hundred is for most people and a Dirt. thousand is more than that as soon Ten as times is much. <laughs> yeah, there's no telling exactly how much more <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone being like well i mean just it's like a shot of vodka right and it's like yeah but kyle promised he would do 30 of them and so that's like that big bottle at costco you know <laughs> so it's gonna he's gonna be vomiting no it'll be fun um you're we're gonna go to a scary place gonna get scared as they say um I haven't really done any edibles since I've been here. Um, I took about 20 milligrams about an hour ago um, just to see how that feels. And uh, it's not that strong. I mean, I'm high, but mm-hmm. I, 20 doesn't really register that, that much on like the crazy, crazy scale. As soon as Dirty got here, um, he <laughs> ate 100. The crazy he ate stuck on, <laughs> hey, you know, I did a 20 and it's not that big a deal. So I'm sure a thousand's fine. Like what can 980 <laughs> more be? <laughs> well, well, there is a difference, right? Because like... <laughs> if, if I was really feeling twenty, like God, no, you know, a thousand is awfully scary. Uh, I think there's a saturation issue that comes into play at some point. It's like how much can your body even like utilize? Yeah, or a thousand and ten thousand are the same, probably. I I, I really believe that. Be I believe you know that. what? I have had that theory about calories. Calories, and I'm not sure it's true, but I just feel like if I eat say a four thousand calorie day, that gets me fat. If I eat forty thousand calories, I'm not sure I keep. 10 times as many no there's no way there's no way we're, th- yeah. we're that like efficient at like, it's like 50, the japanese uh, the hot dog guy like he's probably like a lot of what he's shitting after those competitions it's probably like damn near fully formed <laughs> hot dogs because he's barely taking bites his body can't digest all of that in a day so it's money. probably it's the same principle no but yeah um kobayashi's sorry. theorem they call that sorry i guess we didn't cover that <laughs> um sorry yeah, i'm, guessing I'm we didn't sorry cover that. too we uh we uh yeah, that's our bad um i don't take any of the blame um, I was mostly apologizing for them because they're sober. Like they don't, <laughs> they don't have an excuse. Like, like I paid my bills today. Like my checkbook's out right over here. Like, like I'm, I'm this Sh- high and I managed. If to- that's true, show us your bank account number. <laughs> <laughs> show us your checkbook. I, I was so ready to. Read. <laughs> yeah, um, it's real fucking, real fucking high. Pretty much the uh, all, all day since I've been here, I've been having a great time. Um, like Taylor said, I think they underestimated like how little I want to do. Mm -hmm. Um, so, but, but I am having a fantastic time. Speaking of chocolate and yummy treats, Kyle, you made some delicious baked goods today packed with just probably a stupid amount of marijuana. (sighs) So I took, um, I wrote it all down. I took, that's less than I expected. I took seven grams of 25% THC marijuana, and I cook that into uh, cupcakes <clears throat> for a total of 1,750 milligrams of THC, which is a little more than we want tonight. Almost so, mm-hmm. so we are doing six it's of about them. About 10 times that. more than I want. <laughs> you took about yeah. two-thirds of the cupcakes. I've got two-thirds. The other one-third, I guess, is for The only the problem cupcakes. is two-thirds of the cupcakes, when you're trying to hit 1,000 milligrams, is an entire... <laughs> Is an entire plate of cupcakes. Um, Taylor, are you looking at that and thinking, "What's the problem?" Because I, 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 I started I on mean, this one already. A what little. Are you gonna, um, what are you going to eat the last three hours of the show? Uh, <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is, uh, is start like by eating one now and then slowly rank. Yeah, like, like you should like, ease into up. it. Um, yeah, that's. A, do they, do a, they taste good? Oh, sorry. No, they me. don't. Fuck. That was my question. They don't. They don't. He. he they taste like grass, probably. That tastes like chocolate. If I had to guess, like everything that I've well, had, especially that strong, just tastes like grassy chocolate. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really strong of weed, but I did put real frosting on top, so that Ooh. doesn't taste like shit. Yeah, there it looks go. like you Masks. put a huge amount of chocolate to mask it. 
I bought, so I went to this smoke shop today and I bought Delta 8, an edible. And no! Wait. <laughs> no, I just like, it, the whole Delta 8 stuff is kind of, conf- like, it's legal for me to get it, to get regular weed here. So it's like, why? I, I always have this it's weird connotation. Yeah, I have this weird connotation with like anything that's not traditional THC. Right, like like when I was growing up, kids smoking spice and like the other like f- like stuff. It just is weird. But I think it, Delta yeah. 8's fine. I'm pretty you sure. Don't seem to think fine. Delta Eight is the bee's knees. That it, it it's it has like the, it is great. It's yeah. not bad for you in the same way that pot's not bad for you, right? Like alcohol's worse. And it, anyway, I could go on, yeah. and it's legal. And I thought that I don't know. I guess I'm just trying to. They were really mad last week, and I'm trying. We're doing like a makeup episode. We're trying to get it right. <laughs> we'll get high as shit. And yeah. you know, like if I know what you mean about spice and having that hesitance because yeah. like if this were like spice, no one would be doing this because I, I know, did but spice it's not. in high school yeah. and it was just a panic attack. We've talked about it before, so I won't dwell <clears throat> on it. But it was it was the least pleasant drug I've ever done in my life, and I yeah. would never do it again. The reason that Delta Eight so popular is because it feels pretty much the same as weed. Mom, so watching, that's what I've heard. This is a but gentle I, thing. Alcohol is yeah. way worse. They say so, it's science. So, yeah, I mean, so my probation ended um, on the second. So um, I got a, a Delta Eight vape pen. So at midnight, we started like just fucking hitting that thing before I flew to Denver, and uh, in the morning, and it got me so scary, scary high, like the Delta <laughs> Eight got me. So. And, like, like maybe it was just because that was the first thing I'd ever smoked, and when I get back, I'll be like, oh, this Delta Eight stuff's weak, but like, it seems as strong to me as like this like dab pen. Like it I asked the so guy, strong. Oh, we'll sorry. see. I asked the guy behind the counter if Delta Eight was stronger than pot, and I'll save you what an annoyance that was. But the takeaway was: some people say one, some say the <laughs> other. It's a, it's close, dude. Ask, that is such a like rule one. If you've been in a dispensary before, don't ask that fucking weirdo his opinion on any of the weed. <laughs> yeah, don't Google be like, hey, can phone. I like it? Yeah, <laughs> it looked his size. If I, I, I did an ocular pat down. And I thought this guy is a subject matter expert on weed and Delta mm-hmm. eight. And I, I could use a little hand holding. When I did that in Colorado, the dude was like, like, he knew what was up. He's like, yeah, I know what you need. We'll get you all set up. We'll, we'll, we'll point you in the direction of success. This guy wasn't that guy. He was unable to answer questions. Well, mm. what a he dick. was like Jockey. elusive. I was like, is this a bad question? Do do I look like how a is he elusive? Are you like, how is this drug better than that one? And he's like, <laughs> maybe. <Yeah. laughs> he was like, oh, it's hard we'll to see, say. This won't we? And then he he kept thinking that I was going to think that he was lying to me. That that I yeah, he's like, yeah, but see what happens if I tell you this thing, then you'll hear something else from someone else, and you'll think that I set you wrong, that I that I'm not telling you the truth. And I'm like, no. I, I just don't know. I don't know. I I, I want some help. Yeah. And, that guy's um, smoking too much weed. He's paranoid. Yeah, he's paranoid in his own like <laughs> head <laughs> shop. <laughs> he's like, are you a narc, dude? Like, I, I don't asked know. Him, I was like, like, is this a bad question? Like, do, am I coming off like a cop? He's like, no, Delta AIDS legal. It's not a cop thing. I, and then he proceeded to dodge my question. <laughs> do I look like you're like open carrying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the store. I worry that I look like a cop. Like, yeah. don't. I got a, a bit of a cop look, right? Do, does this not scream undercover detective at least a little, right? You detective, no, yeah, a little bit. But if you had a mustache, <laughs> yeah, detective cop. would have or a regular cop would have shorter hair, no? I no, don't know. I think cops you've cops. got a very copy. I was gonna say you're the top from your eyebrows up. Looks like I should be afraid. Very okay. copy. Yeah, yeah well, very copy. Uh, Just from there up, though, you look like it, it works. But. What does a detective look like? Well, I guess detectives. No, I was thinking of like an undercover agent. It wouldn't matter. A detective isn't solving crimes, myster- Like <laughs> he looks like in, a, no, a in, normal, in, in normal person. Yeah. <laughs> like Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I was wearing a trench coat and a paperboy hat. It was Maybe that pipe. was the issue. This is me pipe. and my gay assistant, <laughs> <laughs> is, who, has a, is, who has a crush on me, and I'll never acknowledge it. <laughs> wait, is Watson gay? I thought. Uh, you know, maybe I read a tweet about that. <laughs> Is it a well, fan fiction about like how they wanted Watson to oh, fuck? Sure. I guarantee Wait, that's out there. We, I, I want to explain what happened last week with the lack of pot. We explained it on PKN, and we all knew we'd do it again on PKA. So why didn't we do a thousand milligrams last week? 
because it's irresponsible. <clears throat> no, it, it was <laughs> that's yeah, that doesn't yeah, we, stop us. We talked about it pre-show, but I was so high that I thought we talked about it during the show um, last week. But um, we just couldn't get any edibles, and I wasn't really thinking of doing it that week necessarily. It didn't seem. I didn't think that like I had said it was going to be the first week or whatever. I just said I'd do it on the show. So I didn't I was surprised anybody was upset. Regardless, we got everything <laughs> now. You've got your nasty ass chocolate muffins and you can just wolf those down. I can I can milk. wash them down with this cream Zevia. Yeah. You need milk. What, wait, there what is, is that you have there? It's cream soda. It's like Zevia. Oh, oh, okay. It's why, not a good, it's a terrible mix. Why are you looking at it like it's bad? The cream soda. Because is I'm like eating the these flavor. weed cupcakes yeah. with it. And well, they then don't rip Zevia. That's a good soda. You know what you really should have done? <laughs> you should have blended it into a smoothie. And it is probably easier to drink your, your, your THK, can, your can of butter than it is to eat it. I don't think we have a blender okay. here. Oh, you would. Oh, put, so you oh, would. You could. Yeah, you could throw it in there. I would take Big milk. Shake. I would just take milk and and uh, there's actually ice cream up there too and like ice cream and like the, all of those and just blend them up and just there you go well he blended his internet like like out. Uh, realm <laughs> can you get high through your asshole yeah, yeah. okay you know what they is say it the, is it like the same <laughs> you know how like one shot of vodka in your asshole is like way more because it's just going right in we all know sure it. I know yeah we've yeah, all yeah. tried Do it you, they time. say five I think four yeah you want to use a, <laughs> like use a tampon for that. I wonder if it's the same with weed. Like, if you put ten milligrams of like a gummy and let it dissolve in your asshole, maybe you, you get, get as high as if you ate like eighty. Or something. <laughs> I just searched. Do you get more high boofing weed? And um, uh, we're not going to get a lot of good answers from Google on this one. I'm going to let you know. Uh, no studies have like been a done. Bing question. <laughs> no, no one's. Been um, <laughs> Metro.co.uk wrote an article March twenty first, twenty seventeen, with the title "You should be putting weed up your anus instead of smoking it." Doctors' advice. <laughs> <laughs> Doctors' <laughs> advice. Yeah, uh, uh, Hi I'll... everybody! You should be <laughs> shoving it up your asshole. <laughs> I'm Doctor <Yeah>. Nick. <laughs> In case the impression was so bad, you didn't. You didn't know it does make doing. a certain sense. Like if you smoke it. There's some particulate matter and lung damage. I, I, I know it's not a lot because you tend not to smoke as much yeah. air, I guess, as you would a cigarette, right? But uh, people don't smoke say, 22 joints a day. No, your throat would die. They say use a repository and then throw it up there and not like sit on the trees. And Do they sell marijuana suppositories that you can stick up your butt? But I'm, I'm sure thinking of a market now if they don't. But and. I, I don't know how this absorption works. Do girls have two options? Oh, yeah. my God. They can get twice as high. And you can, too, <laughs> if you're really dedicated. Just just uh, Wait, sounding what? it. You're, like, rolling <laughs> it. <and> sounding it. <laughs> <laughs> I've made a very oh, thin... Oh, I've, I've, out. I've made a very yeah, you have my spike, attention. <laughs> long spike of honey oil that you need to in insert into oh, your dick hole. God damn it. Wait, that is, you, uh, you know, we're all progressive here with sex and everything. That should be illegal. Sounding? Yeah. Yeah, there's no 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 need for that. I Those can understand people. a need for getting elbow deep in somebody's ass medically, but mm -hmm. not there's no need for uh to stretch or your urethra. Yeah. Those are like the ultimate like send some it's like what uh jar guy and Ooh, BME OC Pain Olympic. Be, yeah. BME Pain Olympic. That one it sucks how like all of us who came up on the internet in that time like I can close my eyes and picture every every bit of that guy's asshole. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, I can <laughs> I I know I can recognize uh Goatsy so well that somebody had in a video game I believe I was playing had like carved it into like <laughs> like the hieroglyphics and stuff. I turned the corner and I was just like, "Wait, that's oh man." Like it was like yeah. five <laughs> pixels and I'm like, "Yep, he's spreading his ass." I yeah. have easily <laughs> recognized pretty small Goatsy ASCII art before. Yeah. I remember like having to consciously get myself like away from looking at Bane's mask. Like, oh like my, Goatsy. you're right. Because yeah. I was like, is he oh. going to be a good movie if I'm looking at his mouth like it's Goatsy? But, it, you know, it wasn't that great of a movie anyway. I think the more years that go by since I've seen it, the more I'm realizing, yeah, the Bane one really dropped the ball. I need to see it again. I liked good. it at the time, but I think I've only seen it once. Yeah, it, I mean, it's not a terrible movie or anything. It's just yeah, compared yeah. to the first two. It, no. They have a fist fight in broad daylight. Nobody brought a weapon. God, it is a bad True. movie, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess it is. That is Batman the problem with low tier superheroes. That like he, well, that regular people can beat them. With he's guns. the peak in DC, right? His Batman. vertebrae were sticking out of the no. skin, and he crawled out of a pit, traveled across the entire globe, and then started that signal fire on the fake Brooklyn Bridge. Only because like, he like, had health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> if he were a poor superhero, he would have been fucked. You're right. Right. He had no way to call like a jet or anything. They didn't even explain that. He was just in the middle of nowhere. Didn't he after... fix it by rehabbing it himself in a yeah. pit. Yeah, yeah, he rehabbed in the health pit. insurance in that country. <laughs> it wasn't high tech, but yeah, it was sticking was... out. And that is. Uh, Taylor's blended his much. internet. Like fuck, Taylor. That you know, usually when someone pauses, they look bad. But Taylor's got a good look going on right there. He looks suspicious. He looks like he thinks someone's lying. I'm seeing handsome. Ooh, it looks now like that you screen. say it, I yeah. see that too. He's just oh, he's like, yeah, keep going, but sure, you got stabbed. Okay, uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, what's up? It's Blurry kidding. Taylor. <laughs> uh, fuck. You'll come back, Taylor. I think it'll just move, move it'll fix itself. Oh, you hear me still? Sorry, uh, I can't. You're a robot -y, but I'm. I got the words. What the fuck up, you guys? You guys it kind of looks like DJ Khaled in this one. That morbidly obese guy. Yeah, but just in the face with the. <laughs> <laughs> Feel better. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good ass burn. <laughs> no, that's horrible, ugly. <laughs> you look like him, no, but not, but not like the funny part. All right, you're, <laughs> yeah. I, I, you're, 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 you're so fucked up. So I'm back. So I let's let. So I, let, let edible. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking of taking it one hour in. I'm taking 25 milligrams. Ooh, oh, look, look at us. That was That's good. Better. I like that one. You like that one? All right. No, I mean, that one looked like we were about to have a debate on like ESPN on like which quarterback <laughs> is less racist or something. <laughs> um, oh, oh, I was thinking of taking mine one hour into the show so I'd get more effect from it. I said, I know, there'd be more show around it. 30, 45 minutes an hour depends on how what you're taking and how much you ate and all that stuff. But I mean, Just if you dinner. take. Does that yeah. hurt it or help it? Hurt it, but I don't think it's not like you'll get less high. It just will probably take more time. It's got to mingle with the food. Yeah, my... uh, not now yet, you're Taylor. fucked. Now I'm you're actually fucked. fucked. Yes, silly Taylor. This I think happens. it'll just go away as soon as your wife's download finishes. Why did I bring her into it? Then, uh, because it was a joke. Then you'll, it'll be fixed. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I mean, if I were depending on how confident and comfortable you are operating when you are uh, when you when you have taken edibles, I think a full hour of the show at the end is plenty for you to get. I everybody's okay. different. For me, if I well, if I take <laughs> edibles, I'm gonna fall asleep. Yeah, like, I've never know. taken in, them before. I'm gonna make some coffee soon. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get a coffee in a moment. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's been fun. This this whole trip's been really fun. Um, dirty, just getting so fucking high. And and I'm always joking about like like slipping drugs into his drink and stuff to keep him on his toes, and uh, and I pretended like I was injecting him with something uh, last night. And he flipped out. It was great. So I've, I've been keeping him really paranoid because you know I've got I got like syringes, so I can you know I can, if he just sees oh, me like right. I can I can like boop him with my finger and then just be like ah oh, like like, <laughs> like, like, like like as I'm walking away like ah oh, pay no mind. Oh, yeah. Are these good jokes or bad jokes? Uh, I mean, gets, if you're if you're the type of person that's gonna fall like if you think kyle has an injectable drug he's gonna spend on your forearm to get you high then you kind of deserve to get pranked if I, if I have injectable drugs i'm not sharing them that's what i'm saying whenever somebody was like man they're gonna lace your weed with like psychoactives with lsd i'm like nobody's wasting fun drugs on weed okay no. nobody's gonna be like hey man yeah, uh, laced it with some coke it's gonna be four times the cost now though yeah, <laughs> yeah the only thing you the only thing that'll happen is people will put like fentanyl and uh, and stuff or fentanyl and or whatever. And, and, and yeah, but stuff. no, and cocaine, but like not oh. in weed. I also don't know. Yeah, why not they in do weed. That. They do it because it's so cheap and it gives such oh. a big, like, powerful boost. Like, like, but they always get the dosage wrong. I, I, that's not true. Sometimes they get the dosage wrong. There's lots of people out there doing fentanyl and be like, "Man, this stuff is awesome." My dealer knows the perfect amount of fentanyl <laughs> to give me. It's wonderful. My last dealer killed three girlfriends. This one, I amazing. <laughs> It is easy to get really inaccurate information around drugs, but I read that when someone dies, it's good for sales. That they're like, "Ooh, oh yeah, Kyle sells the good shit." Uh, I, don't know I, why would, I use Kyle. I would Poor say Kyle. that I would say <laughs> that like, that is more for like like heroin or something, right? That's I also, what it is, right? Heroin. 
All right, right maybe, but fentanyl. I, there's a I, current I think issue I expected with expected the listener to make that leap I, it, when they sell heroin and someone dies yeah. because of the fentanyl. What an addict might hear is, "Oh, this shit's strong." Yeah, yeah. that's great. No, you're right. Oh, no, that's no right. One, that's no, no I mean, I would say that is a one reason why they might do it. I don't know. No injectables. We uh, we, we watched a ton of like really interesting movies. We got The Wizard of Oz on. Got uh, Alice in Wonderland on. Went to went on some spirit journeys. It was uh, it was a real good dirty time. an hour to recognize Alice in Wonderland. Dirty gets so fucking high, dude. Like like he goes to another place and, and he's he gets, not a big man. He's he's a little feller, and uh, and it really hits him hard. And uh, it's it's fun to watch. No, it's been a great time. Um, I didn't do a lot of extracurriculars, but I really enjoyed myself inside this house. You you were sending videos last night of how the how the night was going, and he was kind of winning me over, right? If maybe it was PKN, I was like, my idea of a favor of a good vacation is like get up out of your tent and then do shit that might kill you all day. Like that to me is a really cool vacation, right? It could be motorcycles off road or acrobatic paragliding. Like those are the things I've been doing lately. Cool. Um. Then I saw how much fun Kyle was having in a bed. I think a no, couch. we've, we've got a uh, we got like movie theater seats that recline. So we've all we've all we all have recliners except for what dirty was dirt. He was in a bed. He's on the floor because he's so high he can't sit in a chair. He was <laughs> in a bed. No, um, there was like this little like like one of those cut. fancy couches that like does a, yeah okay and uh, so he but he transitioned from that to the floor a lot. <laughs> in any case. Uh, Kyle made doing nothing look like a good time. Doing good nothing is a great time often. Sorry, am I okay now? Yeah, yeah, yes. you're good. I don't, sorry, I don't know what the fuck was up. My internet's fine. Must mm. be terrorists. That is the most <laughs> likely conclusion. <laughs> they, they, I'm they glad know. somebody said something. I was just I'm tired <laughs> of thinking it. <laughs> I'm tired of pretending we all don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> We're a threat. To ISIS with our takes. ISIS they're, they're installed five G. They're controlling my download rates. Oh yeah, <laughs> That's uh, just ISIS shit. Tucker, I was watching a. I, I don't really watch a ton of YouTube videos outside of like the hobbies <coughs> I'm in at the moment. Like yeah, yeah, Magic the Gathering, archery, weightlifting, whatever. But I was like a few hours ago. I was like, we're having Tucker on tonight. I want to see what he's up to. And I watched one of your videos that was. You were like doing a dab or truth, truth or dab with like hot Bro, sauce. Fuck that. Oh my it was, God. and there was one story that like I was I was laughing out loud where you said with it was about an autograph and the pizza man and the embarrassment there. Can you can you yeah. say that? I don't want to steal your thunder? Yeah, it was, it was, crazy. It was so yeah. embarrassing. So I ordered pizza to my house back when I was living in Portland, and there's not a lot of delivery places out there. I just moved relatively recently, but. Um, you know, it's it's not like it wasn't in Portland. It was like in a suburb of a suburb called Washougal. <laughs> and uh, so there's a fuck all there. And there's not many options. I was hungry one day. And so I ordered a pizza from I think it was Domino's or Pizza Hut. It was like one of the big three. And of course, after waiting a little bit, you know, not like I get a knock on my door. So I check the security camera. I'm like, oh, there's like your typical high school kid out here delivering food. Mm -hmm. And so I've only been there like a month or so. I hadn't ordered. And I opened the door. And the, and the guy goes, the kid goes like, oh, there you are. And I was like, oh, hey, man. And he goes, all right, well, I got your pizza right here. I just got to ask for one thing. Do you mind if I get your autograph? And I was like, yeah, dude, how, I'm sorry. I just moved in. How do you know I live? I mean, like, it's so crazy. <laughs> and he goes, what are you talking about? <laughs> and he just hands me the check. And he's like, he's like, yeah, can you just sign this for me so I can go? <laughs> and I was like. Ah, word. Okay, this is great. Yeah, no, my bad. And signed it, and he looked at me weird and, like, walked away. He was, like, the perfect age to be a viewer. And the way he said it, I was like, well, of course he wants my actual autograph. So I was like, oh, you got, you, like, you want me to just sign where? He's like, here on the check. You're so, next yeah. to the tip line, you fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. God. I, that's, like, the only time that's ever that's happened. So but never funny. again will I make that assumption. I'll ask, like, four times, like, are you, sh you want an autograph, or do you want me to sign? Like, I see how that would easily happen, though. Like, you have enough people approaching you for things like that that you're like, oh, now someone else has me. Yeah, I'll give you my autograph. And I was like, no idiot. Who do I make the, this out to? For the uh, medium yeah. pepperoni. Dominoes, pizza, yeah. you retard. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you can write whatever you want there, but you got to sign it. You got to sign it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I was. I remember being afraid that I had had my address leaked after such a short amount of time. I was like, it's it's unavoidable. He has to deliver the pizza that I've ordered. Like I have to answer it. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs>
Did you make Man. a coffee, Kyle? Yeah, I did. I just walked through the house and they're just passed out. Like every step I took, there was another, another body. Dirty's on the floor, like eight steps outside the door. Just... That is just a clean crack house you have going <clears throat> on there. Yeah. And it's, it's 6.03 p.m. Laying right. out. <laughs> yeah, it is 6 p.m. So, you know, it's about time for half of us to be unconscious, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah, Fish and Dirty are in there, like just passed out. Dirty's on the floor. Now, you're going to do a silly amount of edibles and then take a plane early tomorrow? Yes. Speaking of yeah. which, let's have a few more bites of those edibles. Oh, yeah. Of those tasty lawn clippings. I've, oh, man. Yeah. Yourself. How, wow. how many are you in now? You've had one? I've had two. There are four remaining. Okay, let's slow it down a bit. <laughs> I was a solid bite, though. I mean, I just... it's, it's <laughs> I this think is it was great. mostly frosting. I'm front... That's I'm the front, part. Yeah. Was that Tucker? No, I was gonna just say I'm like front, front and center to watching like uh, a, a live performance of like all of the YouTube videos I used to watch when I was in college called like by like Custom Grow 420, who like literally his his content was I'm gonna smoke a gram of dab in one breath <laughs> or like whatever, and then just would it be a 20 minute video, one minute of doing that, and the next 19 like struggling to survive. <laughs> You're just like yeah, they they were oh. all the same. I remember watching some of those too, where it'd be like I'm gonna take a 1.5 gram dab, and then it would just be them doing it, coughing a lot, and going like oh, it was too much. <laughs> it was just, it was too I want to thank my followers. <laughs> remember to right? subscribe. Didn't it seem like they had an excess and they didn't like if they were to take whatever it is, a tenth of that amount, they get the full effect of it. Yes. But they it was there is like diminishing returns filling out weed. over the sides. They're doing it carelessly. They're burning a gram, but they're only consuming like 75% of it. Am yeah, I wrong? Did you no, see it? No, you're like correct. That too? It's yeah. literally it's a very inefficient way to to do that. It'd be like saying like if you wanted to get super high, don't smoke a joint. Like pack it into a vaporizer and get every last drip of uh, THC but, out of there. I, you know, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking but, about, but it looked like they were intentionally not getting it all. Like oh, I'm gonna drink an entire beer and then I'm spilling right. it fucking everywhere. But it's different because the beer doesn't go. You can drink an entire beer over the course of ten minutes, but you can't smoke a bong after like the smoke goes stale and then you're just dying and it's not good and it doesn't work. I just felt like. <clears throat> It wasn't a bong. It was a dab rig. And yeah, if but, people don't know anything about this. Is a little oil. It's like earwax almost. You put a hot, they call it a nail. You use then, a blowtorch. Oh, wait. Don't you put a nail in it? And then it you, makes it. You, yeah. You, you light up the. You light up the. Oh, the blowtorch the on bowl, there. The bowl. And then you use the nail to dip the, the wax or the concentrate. And then you go around the very hot nail. And then it. Vaporizes okay, it. and then this vaporize comes out. And you breathe it, and it's very, very potent. Yes. Uh, anyway, when I watched the guys do it, it seemed like they let a ton go to waste intentionally, like someone who was trying not to drink their drink would. Regardless, they all ended up miserable, Ruined. and none of them enjoyed that time. Like when they're drooling and snots coming from their nose, right. and they're just like ah, ah, red in the face. I'm like, nice, bro. Strange Central had miserable. some hard times after that was after that content period. Like he. Mm -hmm. He did. He went like cold turkey on it, and then he got into alcoholism. Went to rehab twice. Like it, it, it it's not too much different than like only use me blades business model, where he's drinking on stream. Alcohol is. We worse, call it a but, business mm. model. Yeah, I think we can. Yeah, I it's mean, just... MLMs can do it. Why can't we? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, everyone, every time you donate, I will self-harm. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you just need to find five other people to chug a beer, and each of them find five other people <laughs> to chug a beer. Yeah. What were you saying? Sorry. So I was. you guys got me thinking about this. There was another channel that I used to watch by this guy called Debong Lord. He was just a dude with a, a black ski mask. But the thing that he would do is he'd smoke out of random objects, but he would either eat or swallow the disgusting fucking bong liquid afterwards, no matter oh, what. Okay. So, like, uh, anyways, Tosh.0, oh, I guess, did a interview profile with him a year ago, but he hasn't uploaded in six years. And, like, here's some of the, I don't know, here's, like, I'll just link one and you guys can make the decision. They're short videos. But, like, just some of the things where you're just like, uh, uh, but I used to watch them all like back in college. <clears throat> oh, this is this disgusting. One's like, yeah, this one's like two minutes long. But this he, doesn't make weed look fun at all. It's not. This is not fun. This is absurdly nasty. He's punishing himself, and he's smoking out of a Gatorade bottle that he like melted with a lighter and then pushed the down stem into. Yeah, just just buy some glass, man. 
that's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's does this does this man look like the type of guy that can afford a one of those beer helmets that is made custom for his glassware? Like, probably <laughs> not. No, this guy doesn't. It looks like he spent his last money on the weed he's using in every video. <laughs> <laughs> man, YouTube, old YouTube was kind of more fun with this kind of stuff where it was like just retarded nonsense instead of like going for monetization and all that. It was just, just stupid shit, which like if, if it immediately reverted back to this stupid shit, I would instantly regret it and be like, this is all retarded nonsense. Where's the high quality good stuff. (laughs) Yes. It's, it's, um, I, you know, I really agree with you that, it's not necessarily the type of content. It was how, like, the thought check process that needed to go between somebody sharing the content that they had recorded was about as simple as can I upload this efficiently yeah. and didn't really go through any... There was no pretense or idea that, like, should I frame this in a way that if it gets big, it look I look beneficial? Or I, like, is this going to be detrimental if it gets if it pops off? Or do Wait, I want to have... Other people are thinking things like... Maybe we <clears throat> should think things like that, guys. I mean, you already you already do whether you think you do or not. It's just like, I, I, I mean, eh, I just there's thought that goes into the show and everything versus like if you guys just sat down and decided to eat a thousand milligrams of of, of <laughs> weed, right? Like Kyle's doing without any any thought behind why you should do it. It creates it's a different type of content. It's spontaneous and not as man you like thought through. And that's why like a lot of the old YouTube videos, I'm like, this is so weird. I love it. One of my favorite old YouTube videos <clears throat> is just that low quality video of a dude smoking a cigarette. Like, and it's he's one of those guys who like it Go looks cool because it's it's oh. barely hanging out of his yeah. mouth and he's somehow keeping it in there. And he's like, I'm gonna tell you about the time I a homeless guy sprayed fucking 90 hits of acid in my mouth. <laughs> 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 Do you guys remember that video? No. Oh, it was hilarious. And he's like, I so dude, it. I'm I'm there. I'm in this, I'm in this fucking I mean, he's like sitting on bleachers at a par- at an empty park, <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> and, you're and, like I, the- and I, so this is a crazy story, guys. It was like one of those videos on YouTube that was uploaded. Like you click on it, it was like uploaded 17 years ago, and he was like, <laughs> and so I go and I'm in this alley, you know, I'm fucked up already, and this guy goes, open your mouth, and I go, all right. So <laughs> I open my mouth, and he takes this little dropper, and he was gonna put one drop in, and he goes, <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck, man? And it's like. You know, you shouldn't be able to like swallow your acid like a drink. You know, it's supposed to be something like that. And so immediately I go, I got to find a way home before this kills me. So I get on the train and instantly I'm not, there's no way I'm finding my way home. And he's like talking about that. Like everything's dancing. Like, like it's surprising he doesn't have like permanent mental problems. Yeah, but, that uh, is. Do you terrifying. think that he was really an unknowing victim of this acid it struck me as a little bit like uh, you so know they offered me this it. cookie i said I've, is this a pot cookie they said no so i ate it and it no was it's cookie. it seemed to me like like if i was like all right woody i've got these these drops that are going to get you high open your mouth i'm going to give you one drop and you go okay and then i go ah psych 90 drops like you can't you woody, can't undo it you can't vomit yeah. the acid out you can like spit it out and cut it no i mean no, it, it's already in there Look at the you you click you on the video, and immediately I clicked on it. I'm like, this guy looks like the type of guy that would willingly take open his mouth for a stranger and take 30 hits accidentally of acid. Like he just he fits it. He fits the mold. Yeah, you know, it's called 30 hits of acid slash LSD. Haven't seen it in years, but I remember laughing at that video. So I want to get a little update, Kyle. How are you feeling? Let, let's Ooh. see the let's see the tray of uh, of <laughs> you know you're again. handling this way better than I thought. If I'm Taylor, we are 18 honest. minutes away. Yes, I got I got my Delta Eight gummies. I'm ready to have a couple. I, I'm not um, going to eat a ton because what, I want to be able way, to talk. Yeah, I was going to say, what's the plan? What do you guys have? Because I was lured unknowingly into the pit of you guys just doing a shit ton of drugs. So, yeah. so <laughs> like, about to do? <laughs> so, so like, I mean, nothing, uh, right? But like, I was nobody told me that this was the episode, which I'm glad, I'm thankful that I'm here for, by the way. But like. <laughs> What so let's say hypothetically, an hour left in the show. You guys are uh, maybe not your game, not on point. What are we doing? What's your fill? We will either what? end it early, or you will carry the show by yourself. Oh my god! Well, we Attitude. might we might play. This one is of where those... I make my my stand as this is the first ninety nine percent rated PK episode yeah. <laughs> where you guys are drooling and I'm doing an inner monologue. <laughs> 
you're like over there like and another thing what's the deal <laughs> oh, shit. all right i'll be back in four months no. yeah. normally if there's any dead space on this show yeah. um I, I think it's fair to say i'm like the first one to be like bring up a new topic bring up a thing keep you're it good going. all right we no, can keep it going no i was dead just air. making sure that um that all right. It, like when let's I the... did pot in Colorado, there was dead air, and I I just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the danger. Do you see the problem? <laughs> it's like uh, you're just like, man. You know what? What about thirty to forty five seconds of silence? We're just comfortable with each other's company. Yeah, yeah. we're fine. Dude, driving seventy five on like the on like the, on the <laughs> Is highway. This still it's playing? Like, did I pause it? Yeah. That, that, that's I'm why so I'm bored. I'm not gonna take a ton. I'll, like I'm, I don't think I'm going to do more than mm. 50 milligrams total. I'll, I can, I'll do 25 I can, to start. I'm I can engage a, with the boys, but not with edibles. I'm sorry. I, I leave tomorrow morning those. on a five-day motorcycle adventure, and I told you that to the guy behind the all. counter. <laughs> he explained to me. He said 25. He's like 25. You'll be 100 percent tomorrow. 25 milligrams. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, see? on on your tolerance level, you're going to get fucked up. But I he by tomorrow morning. I'm actually oh, not no, 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 just no. during the show. Like you'll wait if anything. Because that's like, important might, to me. I, I'm yeah. not. I'm not. I'm on a motorcycle. I need to be you, all the way. No, it, it's not. You no. won't be like fucked up or anything. Like you may wake up and be like, "Man, why do I feel like I need extra Rogue. coffee?" And I'm like, "Ah, yeah. oh, it's because I got the weed hangover where I'm feeling like that's just a, a little, a slight bit drowsy." I was not aware yeah. of weed hangovers. That's a it's, thing. It's it's <laughs> not it's not in any way, shape, or form a debilitating long term. It's you you feel uh. You ever, you ever just, you ever just feel like a little too, like Taylor actually nailed it. You, it's like a two cup of coffee morning. It's mm-hmm. not like a negative thing. You're just like, all right, we're in the, we're kind of cloudy, foggy, I'm leaving it foggy. Anyway. Yeah, you'll, you'll like, you'll have gotten eight You're hours fine. of sleep, and you'll feel like you got five and a half hours sleep. And then by yeah. the noon time, you'll be fine. It's just, it's yeah. not. You never go into REM. You smoke too much. You don't dream. That's just, that's, that's a fact. That's I've true. Heard that actually. That, uh, I didn't want to tell Kyle because he said his sleep has been the best ever. Your but- sleep is the best ever until you actually start realizing that it's not as good as a sober night's sleep. Mm-hmm. It is. It, weed will get you to sleep, but you will not sleep as fulfilled and as restfully as you just actually getting a good night's sleep. The problem you know is, it is. I Sorry. will take the 70% health sleep 100% of the night over the... 180 70 60 50 you know whatever like i will always smoke before bed because i am not going to turn off my brain or like get off new world or do something an yeah. hour before like that's i'm sorry i'm just not gonna do it so fuck so you, it i feel you, you man. can't go from like content creation to sleep very quickly yeah I can't, yeah or I mean, any of that too. stimulation anything like that yeah so i promise i will sleep for eight hours uh my sleep tracker will show me it'll be like Hey, you slept pretty good, man. Congrats. That's another month of uh, 80%. And I'm like, seems good enough for me, right? Passing not- grade. Should we get started with this? Mm. Sure. I- I'm so, taking 25 Delta 8 sure, yeah. milligrams. I'm I, doing um, the same. Maybe this is a mistake. I, I So this is 100 high potency whatever, and I'm going to cut a quarter off of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be too much. Kyle, how are you feeling? You look high as shit. <laughs> um, um, so I'm vibrating. Like I've got this like pulsating thing. This like wom 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 that I can like feel like the, the sensation like in my head, my hands, and like my chest. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to like really form full sentences in my head before I say them. Yeah, because I can go like I can meander otherwise. How how many um, are, do you have left to get through? Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> no, I um, uh, I, Wait, I really to... didn't expect that. <laughs> I, uh, I did see that he was eating it the whole time. I was trying to get them all down at two hours. Um, you know what? Solidarity. I'll take another one. Oh no! I'm using <laughs> Actually, I need to be able to do the show. Yeah, <laughs> I can't leave Tucker. Wait, all right, so <laughs> Kyle, so Kyle, I have a good. Uh, so you have had a cup of coffee, but thoughts on a second cup? Uh, it seems really stressful <laughs> to like go up there right now. There's I got I got like a flight of stairs that I'd have to hit and um have fish you know, or dirty fair. have fish or dirty bring you one. They're passed out. They don't I don't 
Well, get those it idiots ass up. They sent Everyone me a, said edibles no, taste bad. And it's no, hard that, to disguise. I'm sorry, I cut you off. It, you're you're eating the gelatin sugar cube. You you know Kyle's mm -hmm. eating a thousand milligrams of <laughs> shitty baked. Like I'm not really trusting Kyle's ability to bake good cupcakes, and he baked them with weed. He takes pride actually. In I'm his very oh, good really? at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a professional here. I use I use uh, mason jars. Okay. <clears throat> so I decarbed at 215 degrees for an hour and 20 minutes. Oh um, yes. And I used a uh, pretty high grade marijuana. It was 25% THC. And I used um, seven grams, I believe. So, um, so that's a quarter ounce. Um, and then I, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm stick with me here. And then I'm, I added, uh, I added a stick of butter, and uh, I uh, put put the put that in the jar with the weed, and then I threw it back in the oven for three more hours, and then I let it cool and mm. filtered it with cheesecloth into uh, into the cake mix. And uh, and now I am very very high. So do you have the delayed input thing yet, where if you wave your arm in front of your face, you feel like you told it to do so two seconds before it does it? Do you have that? I'm I'm <clears throat> like every muscle in my body is like really tense right now because, <laughs> because I'm trying to keep from actually moving. You don't want to move. That's too stressful right now. No, I don't want to vibrate because it feels like I'm vibrating. It feels like I need to hang on. <laughs> all right well that's i mean you do need to hang on <laughs> yeah do. i've been i've been clutching the backs of my knees like this for like i don't even know how long my hands are sore um, <laughs> are you like getting coaster. sweaty <laughs> no i'm not getting sweaty it's really cold in the house i uh it's it's, it's really chilly according to the internet it takes 30 to 60 minutes another site said 30 to 90 for them to kick in yeah and peak is in two to three hours so i guess I disagree the with the what? two to three hours, That doesn't, hours, by that the doesn't way. make sense. I don't feel it like is. it works that I, way. So tell me more. What, what do you think? I feel like it hits way sooner than that. I feel, I feel like peak hits, hits like like 90 minutes. Yeah, man. I feel like it hits me, and then I rise We're a bit. splitting hairs. And then, it, and then like by the time three hours later, like I'm at a nice comfortable high. I'm like ripped out of my mind. A lot of it, a lot of it is um, it depends on your metabolism. It depends on what kind of edible you're eating, you know, whether it was dissolved into fat, what kind of fat, um, or if it's like what you've got with the gummies or whatever. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a lot of uh, metabolism is big though, because I can remember taking a big dose of edibles and it hitting me an hour in. And then by three hours in, it was just crazy town, which is kind of where we're so headed right now. You know, yeah. so um, this is why edibles, edibles stress me out, you know, unless I'm going on an airplane, love doing it before I go on an airplane. Cause then it's just, <clears throat> Like I plan on do, being comatose for until this sarcophagus lands wherever I need it to land, right? <laughs> but like yeah. you know, otherwise it's like it's, it's a to little too. You, mm -hmm. you can probably do that. Turn the lights out. No, no don't don't turn the lights out. We won't be able to see. You're gonna fall. No, asleep no, no, no. The turn the lights out. Be, but then it might be brain. scary in the dark, though. I mean, anything could get you in the dark. I'm all alone in here. Yeah. Should I get fish to sleep on the floor? Just last, to just do it for you. you fish safe. is there to help. I feel like well, fish would make you a last coffee time, or get you a Last water. time, I, uh, the last Ooh, image I got water. from them, they had dressed scum up as a, um, uh, how do I say this delicately, um, a sand person. And he was... <laughs> oh um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is not how you say it delicately. Carry on. <laughs> that, is, that is the most ham-handed way you could have said that. <laughs> to put it worst. lightly. <laughs> As they say, um, a sand person. And, um, and he's in sort of, sort of, he had the full like head wrap thing and also like a some sort of a cloak. So I don't want to go out there right now. I feel like there may be shenanigans afoot. Mm. And I'm in no condition to defend myself. All right. <laughs> if you take more, does it last longer? No, or it's just, just be just hit you, higher. So, so you have to imagine like each morsel of it you eat, creating this like band of intensity that's that lasts for like eight hours. That's going to peak at two hours, and they're overlapping because I took them like in succession. Over time. Yeah. So yeah. like, there are points like right now where I'm really, really, really high. But I'm fully aware that I took I ate the last bits of it like 20 minutes ago, so like there's more coming. There's a lot more coming. It's gonna be great. I just I, I went okay. 
Ponage has Ari's number. He's gonna text him and tell him to bring you a coffee. I, I, I don't I don't want that. You need a coffee. That's gonna stress me out. No, you think not. you think that'll put a you coffee? on coffee? What's the point? You literally nothing better than All right, I'm going for the 500 coffee. milligrams of THC and a single cup of 80 milligrams. If coffee, I don't come yeah, back, right? Like <laughs> if I don't come back, back in like Kyle? if I don't come back in like six minutes, call for get, don't get up. Don't have get up. someone don't come look for me. Don't get up because if you get up, you're not coming back. He'll come back. He'll What's come he back doing? with a cup of I coffee. Oh, he's getting his own coffee. I don't. He's gonna do his best. Okay. You know he's 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 handling this very well. But I know. I also Kyle's one of my very close friends. I know him very well. He (laughs) is. He is so goddamn high right now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen. He's definitely having a ton of anxiety trying to keep himself composed. I I think it. I mean, if it's apparent to everyone that uh, that Kyle's he's going through it right now. But I am impressed by the. Resilience. It was fun when we're like, "How many cupcakes do you have left?" And it's like a few crumbs on the empty Zero. Plate. <laughs> some movie shit. Oh, yeah. you're gonna get some really. At the very least, you're gonna get some really good, um, like thirty second videos of like two hours later. <laughs> yeah, two <laughs> hours <laughs> later. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it was so funny that. He was like, I'm not going to eat a bunch of gummies that are only 10 each. I'd have to eat 100. And so he makes nine cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> it was it's like, why? Why? That's even more food. <laughs> I didn't think of that, but you're right. Yeah. <laughs> he probably like got into cooking them and he's like, I'm not going to admit I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna keep making these. That's why I was like, surely the easier way to consume this much is to eat the. Uh, single like they make thousand milligram chocolate bars. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of chocolate, but it's just like he he had a challenge mm-hmm. in buying those because you need a medical license. Yeah, medical because, yeah, because they're like this. Like, what, sir? Why would you like to buy this? There's no like responsible reason for that much. Like, really, yeah, truly, no that's so much. Uh, like, uh, yeah, if you're watching this and you're like, oh my god. What if I just like did fifty milligrams? Like, oh yeah. Also, far too much. Oh, but well, yeah, twenty five. You're gonna be really high. I mean, twenty five is a really a solid one. amount. No, ten is like a five is a dosage. Ten is like anything that you'd probably. You know, I think have, of ten as like a, a normal like dose, yeah. like if you're buying the little squares. I told and dude, man, at the counter, I had never done this before. Oh, dude, you yeah. are you are gonna be so goddamn high. Like well, you, I don't you know, better man. buckle up be? because <laughs> you're gonna be so goddamn. High. And no, it's so, it's I gonna be me and Tucker that. doing the show at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you. I think you'll be. I think you'll be high, but not that bad. Like, I'll, like when I want to go, when I want to pass out on a flight, I'll I'll drink like uh like a thirty five or forty five tincture, like a little. It's literally cough syrup. It's so bad, but like. Mm. Eh, it is. It is. It's. Why, uh, why do you do that? that guys of, admit it's bad. It's efficient. Why do you do that instead of just like having gummies instead? Because I don't want to fucking like. I'd literally again. I'd have to eat four and a half gum. That's just like a lot of work. Versus I can get a a thing that's like this, and it's just a little, like a little serving. It doesn't. Fair taste enough. That I, I've bad. never it's tried not. tincture. I've just heard people say that it's kind of gross compared to other administration <laughs> methods. Yeah, I don't know. I because I'm. I guess I'm not doing it for fun at that. Like I'm not literally. I'm not like waking up like fucking can't wait for the syrup, bro. Yeah. It's like <laughs> it's like I'm getting on a metal like cylinder in the sky. I just really would like to go to sleep or. Something. I, I've not, done that where like uh, I've eaten a bunch of edibles like right. I've done it where like I bring the edibles with me in the Uber and I'm like about to get out of the Uber to the airport and, just- and, I'm like, oh, God, <laughs> and, then, and I eat it all and then it's like you know raising you say, it, race against me? the clock to get through security before it hits me and I remember yeah. like I don't I'm not doing anything illegal or anything and like I'm about to walk through the portion of the airport through the security line where right. there's the the guy with the dog that walks yeah. back and forth and I remember being so scared that it would be able to smell my breath and know that I had eaten all those edibles. And, and so was I was like, like <laughs> and because it kicked, I, I waited in line too long and it kicked in too early. And so right. I'm like about to walk through that area and like my heart's beating so fast. And I'm like, 
<laughs> I'm like holding my breath as I walk past the top, and like it's not until I like come off the come down later, like as I'm landing, that I'm like, that was yeah. so retarded. Why did you? Well, why did you so, think that, that would make a difference? So yes, last no? last night we were in the backyard, and um, we were all very very high, and I, there's like a major road like back behind the house, and I could hear a siren like way in the distance, and I was looking at Dirty's face because he's gonna be super paranoid because he's crazy high. And I'm, I'm watching his face to see his reaction to the siren because I'm high too, but not so high that I'm afraid of fucking sirens. And like, he, he has this real, he's like, oh, they're coming. You're not doing <laughs> anything illegal, by the way. Yeah. I, I know, but he's terrified that they're coming for it. They're, they're right. coming, they're coming. And like every time the siren would go whoop, 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 he was going, uh, 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 like a machine gun was hitting him. It was, he was so <laughs> like terrified. PTSD. He was so terrified of the sirens. It was great. <laughs> He's he's still passed out of the floor out there. I yeah. just step over him to go get coffee. That's crazy. I mean, oh, he, you did get coffee. Yeah, he's good gonna for wake you, up man. Tonight. Good for you. Do you feel a little more grounded now that you know you're capable of like getting yourself a cup of coffee? Oh, that was a scary trip. But that it was, was, but it was important think you that you. I, I, I got up there and he had he was still like half a sand person. Um, he had the the top part on. <sighs> But not the bottom part. <laughs> so he's keeping half his outfit on, just he's yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't. Up, you know, I think feel, it's. A, I think it's offensive. Makes me feel comfortable. Yeah, I mean, bigoted things like that drive me up a wall, man. You got. Don't care for it. What is yeah. that you have, Tucker? Beef jerky. He got me one of those suits. Some edamame Ooh. sea salt. He got me one of those um, sand people suits as well, and I, he, he, he's like, "Come on, put it on, put it on." And I'm just like, "Ah, uh, no, nah, nah. there's no nah. reason for you to do that." No, nah, I don't. I don't want to put that on. I'm nah. gonna take it home with me and 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 like a little role playing. There, there is a, maybe <laughs> like there, there, there's definitely jihad a, role play just uh, stepped its game up. All right, there's like uh, there's definitely a level of high and drunk, or I assume just anything you're fucked up on, where like coffee has no effect anymore. Like it just can't compete with whatever like, you've whatever you've yeah. already consumed. Mm, yeah. Um, well, uh, it depends. I, I, that it nitro cold brew shit. I swear to God. Like the the Starbucks drink. Sorry, I, mm-hmm. this is like eating sand. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, <laughs> dude. It was bud. it was so hard to choke oh down those God. fucking cupcakes. I made them yesterday. I made them yesterday, and I just left oh them out God. on the countertop because we got fucked up last night. So they're all <laughs> so they're all dried out. <laughs> so they were the worst they could possibly they, be. <laughs> you needed milk. And, and I'm and I'm yeah, you and I'm really so, did. And I'm so high already that my, my mouth is dry, and I'm just. Like, <laughs> Those it's like eating us. corn. It's like cornbread at this point. Are you are you oh, ha- are yeah. you at a are you having fun or are you way past the fun level of high? I, be, this I, I could are enjoy this if I weren't life? here. Um, <laughs> if I were like like in the recliner in there watching Fantasia, would like like the like we've got like a really nice surround sound thing and a big projector. So like I could go to mm-hmm. another realm right now and have a little adventure. But <clears throat> you don't think you'd fall asleep? No, I'm. I'm like, um, it's not vibrating, but there's like these pulses of like uh, sensation, like running through my body. It's going boom, boom, boom. So like, I couldn't sleep right now. That would be terrifying. Okay. Yeah. I feel that. Uh, I'd yeah. rather walk to the gas station. <laughs> what, what, what would you get? What would you get? If you went to the gas station, what would you get? A fucking panic attack is what I'd get. I, like, like, <laughs> like what I, what I, what I mean is that my greatest fear in life right now is driving. <laughs> and I mean, is what, well, the only thing wor- the only idea worse than uh, walking to the gas station would be driving to the gas station. Yeah, I mean that would be a bad idea. I, I I don't remember if we said this on the show or if we just talked about it beforehand. You have to be on a plane in nine hours or so, right? See, I don't like that people keep bringing that up because that stresses me out. Mm. Yeah, you don't even nine have to hours, be on that plane. Still be high, probably. I have to be out the door in. It's incalculable. Like six, seven hours. No, make him do it. <laughs> <laughs> some, so, some of, so some have claimed six, six seven hours. Out the door and nobody knows. Be. Seven hours and fifteen minutes. You're gonna be packing this high. You might leave shit behind. Dude, there is no way they're making. I me know, what Woody. Is he he that is one of my major concerns. <laughs> is that I have to pack. Kyle, Kyle, everything that you might leave is replaceable. 
You know what would suck? It would suck if you accidentally packed drugs and went back to prison. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say things like that to him. Don't say things oh, like that. Oh, accident. Dude. My bad. I don't think the Denver airport would care if you flew out with me. And you know what? It's actually legal to fly out of LAX or any uh, airport in California with weed. Now I have to leave my luggage here. <laughs> no. But you should search your luggage, right, before you fly. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like I, all I've really had are these um, these pens, and I've only had two of them, and uh, they lasted for the pretty much the duration. I smoked a good bit of. That's the way to do it, man. You don't like those little vape pens, disposable, single serve, so fucking nice. It tastes single like serve. apricot. Yeah, don't risk yeah. flying home with the vape pen, though. Man. Of course not, because I have Delta Eight at home. Yeah, I was just making jokes. No one really <laughs> caught it. <laughs> it didn't land. <laughs> Mail it back. Out. Anyway, so Kyle, you're. Do you have any plans after the show tonight, other than to just feast? F- feast? I'm not hungry. I can't. You can't eat on edibles. Like, like I feel nauseous. Right now. <laughs> what are you? Mm-hmm. What? Do, do you know? How- <laughs> no, 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 no. No, he just, you ate, can... he just ate nine cupcakes. That's why he can't eat. Oh, okay, I, I, that's. I, fair. I, <laughs> I feel so. It, like, like the only thing that's keeping me from vomiting, I think, is the coffee. Like, like, like. I don't want yeah, like, food. Do you think? I mean, I, that's that was my guess. Is I thought after you had that much, you would definitely vomit. Yeah. You're handling it a lot better than I, I anticipated. If I was on that much, like I would, I'd be, I'd be passed out. I would be comatose somewhere, un, unreachable. Like my house could burn down, and I would just die. <laughs> I mean, we haven't gotten there yet. No, no, you still have like two cupcakes yet to land. <laughs> you know, they're like it's a like hundred and... gathering. They're on the stack. They haven't like resolved a, yet. <laughs> as a unit of measurement, we've used cupcakes and colanders tonight. I'm digging. They're like a hundred and um, they're like 165 <laughs> milligrams each. Kyle's like the small white girl on that couch in that meme. <laughs> yeah, and it's oh, nine. Man. It's nine cupcakes <laughs> behind him. <laughs> no, no, someone's gonna make that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, it's so funny like you, you just being high as shit all episode we, we shouldn't make this a thing because it's not gonna go well we'll no, just get quieter is... and quieter and quieter I, and then eventually like literally i said it i think even it was either during or before the show like if i get super high and like like if you two are comatose and i'm high as shit i'll just be talking to tucker like and another deck list i'm working on for magic is is this one <laughs> see the thing about this skeletal swarming is every end step you get a new skeleton what are we talking i won't about? i will never let it get, i will never let it get down to that i promise <laughs> thank you you're yes, you're uh, i will i will i feel like we've been there before a tenured prof- we have I, remember I, last I episode where we where we just were naming states <laughs> Dude, I love that part. I did a live stream and people fucking love that part. We were really? like, they thought that was funny. I'm just getting all this positive feedback. This What's state? your favorite state? Oh man, Maryland. probably probably Colorado. You got well, I don't know. It's I it's like not Wyoming warm there. A lot, but I did go in the summer. Colorado or Florida? Florida, because the weather there is so fucking awesome. Wait, have you been to Florida much? Many times. I love the heat. I'm a heat boy. I do better in the heat than the cold. You like the swamp? A heat boy. Uh, is... What the fuck is a heat boy? Someone who likes the heat more than the cold, idiot. <laughs> the heat miser. He's got the yellow I am hair. the heat miser. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the heat miser. So Florida or Colorado? Because it feels like you can do anything but the beach in Colorado. Yeah, that's true. Florida is. They got deserts. You can ski. Thing. You might as well just say California. Are you going to Florida then? at the beaches? Uh, yeah, I go to some Florida beaches, but I don't do like uh, s- surfing or anything like that. So I'm sure like you would come at it from a different critique. Yeah, Central Florida is just swampland. It's impossible to go anywhere because the roads don't criss. Like mm-hmm. you can be ten minutes by air and an hour and a half away by drive. Um, that's a little exaggeration, but not far. Yeah. And uh, uh, I don't know. It just you realize it. You think Florida and you think like Miami and Will Smith and his expensive cars mm-hmm. or whatever uh that exists but central florida is alabama kyle it is so funny like we're having conversations and i can see you over there 
quietly reconciling your fate, like, <laughs> like <laughs> looking down, like, oof. Okay, this is this is intensifying. Taylor, has yours kicked in at all? Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to get high. Yeah, I'm actually I'm already high. <laughs> I, I, so I wrote it down. You guys have been high for a little. Bit. I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm pretty fucking high. <laughs> I, I took it at, at 9:32 Eastern, and at 9:52, that's when I announced it came 10 minutes early. Now it is 10:02. It's it's been 30 minutes. It's you know what? It probably didn't affect you. You should take another 25 milligrams. Yeah. That is, I so, have to drive. So you're, you're, but you're what you have to anything? say is you have to say this edible ain't shit, and then you take the other <laughs> half, and the then tradition. we'll be gang. I can see oh why God. people would take more because, yeah, it. You know, you're like, okay, you see, this, this is why edibles kind of suck. All right, you, it's like a time bomb. You're like, oh, oh, am I getting high? <laughs> I don't know yet. Like, right? Like, if you just yeah. smoke a bowl, it's like. Yes, I will be high in about fifteen seconds. Like, yeah, and I'll right. know exactly and how I'll know high how I'm going to get, yeah, and when to smoke again. Whereas, exactly, yeah, it, it is. How a long bit does of it take risk. to max a bolt? You say fifteen seconds arrival. Does it keep rising? Maybe, keep maybe smoking. a little bit. Like you'll you'll take the bong rip, whatever you're doing, and you'll immediately because through your lungs is like the fastest way, other than you know intravenous yeah, to get it into your system, and like you're instantly high. And yeah. you'll you'll climb a little bit, but that climb is short, and then you'll stay there. Whereas edibles, you you don't know where you're going to end up. You might be in a I don't know I'll, random. I'll you might you might be like in a twelve hours. You might be in an Airbnb in Colorado with some patrons, just uncomfortably high, <laughs> or at your house at Apex. Not Dude, Apex. Imagine <laughs> imagine Bro. somebody just busts in there dressed as like. <laughs> Just as the Joker, as the Joker, <laughs> he's got full paint on. <laughs> I don't know, Kyle. How are you feeling? Just a little. I, I know people want constant updates into your. Well, I'm a little afraid of the Joker thing. now. <laughs> he's a scary guy. That's a valid fear. Yeah, that was the. Yeah, you should dwell on that. <laughs> <laughs> now, how are you doing? I saw you multiple times looking down, think, thinking. Are, are you still vibrating really hard? Do you have that that movement? Uh, delay yet yeah i feel the need to collect myself uh pretty frequently to uh yeah. to keep from from spilling you know what's funny is i can from hear spilling. how dry your mouth is <laughs> yeah <laughs> have you thought about getting some water <laughs> have you thought about a bit of water? what i can't give us a review of the can is that canada dry or is that the cream soda it's That's the zevia zevia is mm. great what is 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 there alcohol in Zevia? No. no. It's just a uh, stevia so bean soda. Bean. I drink a ton of those. I love them. Oh, it's a diet soda, basically, mm -hmm. but it's stevia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it doesn't spike your blood sugar or something like that. Kyle explained it at some point. Is that right? Tastes good. It does ah. taste good. What does it, do to, your, what does it do to your blood sugar? It doesn't impact it, right? Don't fucking know. Uh. All right. Uh, sober Kyle had facts on this. I feel like <laughs> so sober Kyle's like not Derek. here, is he? <laughs> no, sober Kyle left a while ago. I haven't seen him for a for a while. Kyle, I got a question for you. Oh no! <laughs> Your plan for world domination has succeeded, but instead of being an evil overlord, you are a mildly infuriating overlord. Which laws do you pass to make everyone mad? There's an example. If you wear a long sleeve shirt, you're forbidden from rolling up your sleeves while washing your hands. Slowest driver gets right of way. Um, I, I'm not going to be able to help you with this one. I, I was going to say, Woody, <laughs> can't come one, up with mildly one, infuriating. No, come on, Woody, you have an idea one, this here. Is, Woody, no, I'm, this is too too complicated. I would you say e every everyone at Chipotle is required to point at their ingredients over the screen. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> that All right, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? I want a chicken burrito, sir. Because of the new guidelines, you must point physically over the screen. <laughs> I want that and that. Uh, Remember when Obama uh, did that? That's that's that was so infuriating. Oh, yeah. any any celebrity that I formerly liked, like it could be anyone. If they if I see them point over the screen at like ice cream or ingredients, it's like no, you're on my shit list now. I I I. I hate that. It's so like the much. Most, I don't want like your fucking easiest, finger flakes all over my ingredients. It's like the easiest barrier to not, not cross over. It's literally yeah. tilted away from you like like a pen. And you're like, Ugh. 
Just it's, it's labeled. Say yeah, what you want. You don't have to point at all. We can know. Be pointing and just You're say not the chicken. Boss me. Just say well, fajita I want veggies. The pico. Just say I want. Just say I want a queso burrito and then when they put queso on there you gaslight them and say i never asked for that but i still want it and and you're gonna give me, you're gonna give me this without the queso fee and you gaslight that chipotle employee and you say you don't you, <laughs> you, this, and that's yeah that's what are we talking have you ever seen this done? have you ever seen this done taylor no I mean, oh. I've, I've definitely. I you're like there. acting out some sick fantasy. Like, <laughs> That's what I want. That's what I, I mean, I have done the thing where, like, I say single meat, and then they switch out the person doing it, and and then you get double meat, and they don't charge. Or I'm sorry, you get the double meat, and then they switch out the cash register person, and you say you had single meat, make out like a bandit. <laughs> 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 I you're saving two dollars for the extra meat fee. That's a lot of dollars for meat fee. That's what it costs. Yeah, yeah. But you can save that two dollars if you're duplicitous. <laughs> if you if you go into Chipotle with a plan. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm definitely hot. Huh? <laughs> At this point. Are you? A little bit. A little bit. But I've been balancing it out. I have enough white claws in me that i'm not going to shut up oh yeah yeah, yeah i need to get plan. some more need, need to have some more of those except i ugh, i think there's ruby grapefruit left in my fridge i got through this ruby grapefruit but that's just the worst flavor of them it's not good lime that's the king flavor how you doing champ oh i'm feeling just fine as frog hair <laughs> fine as a fine as fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's exactly what we said it would be. <laughs> Kyle un unable to speak for, for hours at the end. What are you drinking, Tucker? Beer? Or you're always having yeah. something fun. Yeah, just a beer. Uh, La Fin du Monde. It's my favorite beer. La right Fin now. du Monde. What, is, what kind of beer is that? I don't know. Uh, fucking uh, 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 a triple. But it's, um, it's from... Ontario, I think, and uh, pretty good beer. It's not like it's not one of those like gross, way super high alcohol content. It is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Those like are horrible. You know what I tried recently was mm. soju. Which uh, is soju like is dangerous with like peach or uh, like mandarin or whatever. I've, Very I've good. never had that. I Very I, good. I, I just like uh, bought a bottle at the store. And it's called like the brand was like Janisu or something like I guess they're a big brand sure. of it. And it is I, th I think you're supposed to take shots of it. And so I was like excited to try it. And so I took sure. a shot of it and it is it's disgusting. It is. <laughs> no, it's 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 really bad. Like my, my wife and I tried it. Was we it both cloudy? Like, no, so it, was, it was clear. And so we, right. like, we both poured a shot of it. And I was yeah. like, this is like supposed to be like a fun like Korean drink. And like it's only twenty percent alcohol, and so like a right. vodka shot is forty percent, but right. it has all of the bad taste of a forty percent shot of vodka, and you're getting <laughs> half of it. And we both agreed. Like I think it's still sitting in there. Like I don't. I probably just throw it away. It was horrible. Yes, this is my favorite. <laughs> all right, so you're spot on, right? Like yeah. like rice wine. It's because it's rice wine. Mm -hmm. Um um, soju and sake are kind of no matter how they're made, they kind of all do inevitably tastes like a watered down vodka shot right yeah but without the flavor so you gotta throw lemon in there at the very least but also they make flavored soju and flavored sake that i swear to god i mean it's you're just gonna drink you're gonna drink the whole bottle yourself you're gonna get wasted mm -hmm. it is the most dangerous thing i think you know I, you go to cream barbecue that. Yeah, get that. Drink. Get the flavored version. It's a whole different ball game. But and they they come in little bottles too. Yeah. What? Well, but like, like a, that little bottle is like a bottle of wine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I but, knew immediately how alcoholic it was when I taste. I, I thought it was yeah. way more than it was. Oh yeah. When I but I mean, it, oh my good. god, awful hangover because there's so much sugar to make that taste good. But give you it a sugar shot. goes with hangover, hand in hand. That's the hundred percent. There's yeah. you literally could not convince me otherwise. No, Even you're, if you're there right. was a scientific study that came out that was like, no, 
<laughs> I'd just say, like, I'm dying on this hill. Like, that, anecdotally, that, I can't do it. That would be the fakest news ever. It's like, <laughs> right. every, everybody knows this. Like, if you... You know, you're yeah. sounding a lot like Trump. If you were... If you were <laughs> everybody talks about it. Lots of people... I was doing the I got, I got okay. fucked up on, on soju... <laughs> and I hated it. Like that, that's what it is. It, it's not like you get fucked up on vodka, just regular ass vodka, the same amount of alcohol. Right. You're going to feel way less terrible than you would if you drank uh, Mike, Mike's Hard, Hard Lemonades. That's like the, yeah. the one I can think of, like the sweetest thing. You drink a bunch of those, you're going to feel. It's that in dehydration. Terrible. Yeah, it's that in dehydration. You got to make sure you're hydrated. That's why I preach to the day that I die, you drink vodka waters. Vodka water is the sole drink you should drink when you're out with your purpose. There's Because there's two types of drinking. There's drinking because you want to enjoy it, etc. And then there's drinking because you're going to be drinking for a long time. You're, you're going mm -hmm. like you're at a right... Sometimes you drink so you don't get Sometimes. so high you can't talk on your podcast. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you, <laughs> so then here you are. But um, yeah. yeah, it's not good, but it gets the job done. So now I think with soju, I've tried all the main kinds because I've tried a uh, sake. Sake is just the, the grossest thing imaginable. It's fucking See, disgusting. But wait, war, did you get it warm or hot or, or cold? I got it warm at a Japanese place. Pretty. It's I. I'm pretty. I'm down with it. Right. Like yeah. I can get behind it, but it's not my per personal choice. I just flavored though. I don't know how strong sake is. That's like, it's like a vodka. It's very similar. No, no, no. Oh, it's like, I think so, it's, yeah, it's so also good. like 20, 25%. But it's like if they melted down a, um, like a ring pop of green apple and then make it alcoholic. I'm telling you, it's like that level of strong flavor. But it's, that doesn't it's sound like, bad. It's actually. not, I mean, it's like Jolly Rancher in liquid form, but alcoholic. And you're like, all right, they nailed it. So good. <laughs> so good. Kyle, you've probably not been having drinks at all over there. Just just enjoying the week. Not just probably talking about tonight. The, the, yeah. the whole couple of weeks. You ever get like a nice dinner with the beer or anything? Nope. All right. Thanks for that. <laughs> 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 all right. Nah. Back to you, Taylor. <laughs> back to you, Taylor. <laughs> no. Uh... <laughs> Woody, how are you feeling? Are you starting to uh, get engrossed in the high a little more? Yeah, un, indubitably. Yeah, they just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have to pee really bad, but I don't want to get up because yeah, I yeah, was yeah. talking. <laughs> you know, I was fucking talking. Uh, stay right where you are. <laughs> you uh, we you can just pee give, right give there, to, Danny yeah. Mullen. Uh, just give oh, a topic. No. Mm. What's wrong, Kyle? Do you have to pee also? No, no. Mm. We just lost our talker. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're the most cogent one of us. Right now. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. I swear to God. E even I, drinking I your, he uh, I know my heavy Mall beer. I've got my fuck. my Canadian French beer. They're just saying sorry every time I take a sip. Does it come in one of those like giant bottles? Yeah, with like of the course cork and it stuff. does. Yeah, so it's way too yeah. strong. Yeah, but it's so good, man. I love it so much because like all you need to do is drink this, and then it's like, all right, that's enough. There's no. Like you don't need, yeah. there's you're good. I mean, it's like drinking a whole bottle of wine at that strength, Probably, pretty much. No, you don't think maybe. is it not the size of a bottle of wine? I don't know. No, it's not anywhere near. But either way, it's definitely like it's it's two pints or a pint in like nine ounces or whatever. So it's like, I've I've given up on enough. liking wine. I, oh. I'm, I love it. I, I just Kyle, don't like. Do you it like very wine? Much. No, you you're gonna. This is audio based, my friend. You're gonna have to give me. <laughs> You're gonna have to, yeah. No, I don't like wine. No. Do you yeah, like a thousand milligrams of there. weed? Oh, I'm just real, real goddamn high. Um, right. Yeah. Expand. What's it like to be that high? Oh, mm. it's it's real difficult. What uh -huh. if I, I I used to hate being interviewed when I was like super high? Yeah, I hate I hate, hate Woody's creepy interview voice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. What if we did like a? What if we did like a? Uh, like he's like luring a, me into a sedan late at night. That, that's that's what he's high voice. Don't blame him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scary. You know we're, Zach, we're we're fawning over over Kyle with a thousand milligrams. 
Woody, you're handling this way better than I thought you would. Like 25 yeah. off the off the cuff, not having any tolerance. Well like done. I thought you were gonna be I'm not done doing so. anything. I'm like doing the same thing Kyle's doing. <laughs> like no, you're not. Kyle's you fighting for show. his life, Woody. Okay, okay. That, that's gonna be in the description. Say I'm not talking like Kyle. That's it'll be in the description at like four hours and forty eight minutes. It'll be like. Taylor and Tucker talk <laughs> for an hour and, and 14 minutes or whatever. I don't know where I put it. Uh, I wanted to prove it was real, but I kind of already. You don't oh, have to you prove did, it. You did. We all, we all, you already, we all know you did. It is, it is visibly real. <laughs> okay. My favorite is that it looks I'm like a condom anything. wrapper. No, like you're, you're just stoned. How, how are one. you feeling, Woody? Like, are, you're not, you're not vibrating or anything. You're not that high. Are you, you're just feeling out of it, sleepy. No, nah, not. I don't know. I'm just uh, relax. Um, like the anxiety is a little gone. I feel less pressure to actually do this show while recording. <laughs> I uh, you almost said there, the f word right there. <laughs> <laughs> there is a thing where if I twist my head, like I kind of feel the the. I, I don't know if I'd say delay like you did, but it's the best thing I have right now. Mm -hmm. Like there's a sort of like ah yeah that just, was just a warped perception. It's not the way Thank it should you. be. Yeah. 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 And um. Uh, I don't know. Mostly, I'm just like, I got, I got a case of the whatevers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a reason that's like the stereotype for it is you get high as shit, and suddenly you're like, you know, I don't strictly have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I can just watch Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, ideal, right? Uh, somebody mm -hmm. used to joke around that it would. Uh, it would make nothing like at least entertaining. So like if you didn't have anything to do, it would make something out of nothing. You could just do it and like at least at the bare minimum, you could just kind of do nothing. And that would be better than whatever doing nothing you were doing before. South yeah. Park says that they give the speech on the kids and they're because at sure. first they try to convince kids. But also problem. like that will what? That'll just about kill you. And they, they see oh, yeah. that's not true. And at the end, he wraps up and. You know, he's like, you know, it's not going to kill you. You might like it. It might if, if you, you do, do it, it like Kyle's doing. <laughs> but if you do it all the time or do it too much, then you don't do anything. And you're just okay with not doing anything. And you don't yeah. become what you could be. That, it, it, that's what it says. Mm -hmm. I'll stop. It, it makes you okay with complacency uh, it, if, yeah. if you do it too much. Like if Sometimes. you're all the time, if you're high 24-7, you're probably not getting a lot done. And I know there are people out there going to be like, I smoke every morning a dab and I'm, I'm productive as shit. Yeah, those people are out there. People like Joe Rogan are out there who are high all the time and build a $100 million podcast empire. But that person you know is what? not the norm. That's not you. And that's, yeah, that's, not, that's I not, promise the, it's not that's you. not the norm. You are not Joe Rogan. Those people like, get to do it because they are that rich. It's not yes. because you have the same work ethic. You could have the same work ethic, but like... It, it, he doesn't have to do much more. Yeah. So. I mean, Joe Rogan was like a very successful actor and show host by the time he was in his mid thirties and he didn't smoke weed until after that. And so it's like, oh, yeah. that, uh, you know, it's not like he was token up as don't he was ruin ascending. your life. Kids don't smoke weed. Or don't you smoke do, weed. Be responsible. Also, Why didn't I you just, tell me this 30 minutes ago? Take your, take your prescribed <laughs> Adderall though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you're getting 30 milligrams, Drink, uh, smoke as much. If you take Adderall, just uh, take as much weed as you take Adderall one time. <laughs> just see what happens. Some kids like oh, I've got eighty milligrams to my name, dude. I remember oh, in college, so like gross. I was never, you know, I I don't like any kind of stimulants or anything. I like mellowing out. But I remember like before tests and stuff, someone would give me like a thirty XR. I think thirty is a pretty common one, right? 30 extended release for Adderall and sure. I would take one and it would like get to be the end of the night and I would always tell myself I can just smoke my way to sleep if I smoke <laughs> enough if I smoke enough weed but like right the the weed guy coming in to fight the Adderall guy it is not even close to a match. The Adderall guy is pulling his eyes out like a chimp, just ripping his dick off, murdering him. And then I take another hit and I send in another weed guy. That guy gets <laughs> fucked up the same. And you can you just take hits. I remember doing this. I remember I had a test at like 8 a.m. and I had taken the Adderall and it was like midnight. And I was like, I, there just has to be an amount of weed I can smoke that I can go to bed. And I and I couldn't. I, I didn't. I stayed up all night. I was yeah. I was high as can be. But like, 
it wasn't the kind of high I was enjoying. It was like just the bad parts of high because the, the Adderall was beating so, down all the relaxation. <laughs> Kyle's like the bad parts you say. <laughs> the bad parts, yeah. Now, Kyle, you're looking pensive. I'm sure you have something to say. Oh, so many things. Um, just What's the first thing? Very high. Very, very, very high. Nice. Um, What's the second one? It's, it's pretty much just the one thing, really, <laughs> that I had to say there. Um, just it's gonna be a long night. Are you having a? Are you having disjointed thoughts, like thoughts that don't make much sense, and then you have more of them, like racing thoughts, or no? No, I don't know. I no uh, thoughts. Can't really put this into uh, words at the moment. Mm. This is uh, you. You've taken the amount of weed like to fucking hallucinate. I'm yeah. Not ha- yeah, I'm not having a good time. It doesn't Aww. seem like you are, <laughs> which I guess, which I guess is what people wanted <laughs> to, to, to see you so fucking high that you're just crippled by it. Right, have you thought we're going to take a break after this? Yeah, you are. <laughs> have, have you thought about what you want to do when you're done with the show? Because you've got a lot of time to maybe relax and I'm going to go get in the bed that's over there behind the camera in the sheets and chill the fuck out. Hmm. And try and fall asleep. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. But what about gonna... what about what about snacks? I want any snacks. I just want. Don't want snacks, huh? That's, uh... <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> wow, that's I feel, crazy. I feel so sick. Can't sick. Eat. Yes. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Do you feel like you're gonna? I, I, I'm genuinely surprised you haven't vomited. I, I called that you would vomit from I'm... it, but. I'm pretty shocked. Now now you're too deep into the the digestion for vomit to even matter. That's good. Yeah. That's really so you're are, are you feeling nauseous or just yeah. upset general? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. All of that. You got Pepto Bismol? We're not moving. We're stationary. I'm so not jealous of where you are right now. <laughs> I'm trying to walk the line awful. between cuz like 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 Oh no, if it isn't the consequence of my own actions. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, who could have seen this coming? Yeah. But also, at the same time, uh, you got you got some water <clears throat> water around because you've been drinking not, the carbonated cream yeah, it's, soda. It, it, it's going to continue in that, in that way. I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm not moving. The water is just as far as the coffee, and I'm not going there for a long time. Can you have any of these these fellas bring you something? No, no, I'm I, I'm I'm too paranoid for that right now. I can't have them creeping around on me. I I messaged them on Discord. <sighs> no, I don't do that. <laughs> don't wait. do that. No, this was hours wait. ago. This what do you what, do you? what do you? What do you? What are you paranoid? Like, what could possibly paranoy you? Because you are legally no allowed to do no, everything. It just sounds like come. it sounds like Taylor's got some kind of a plot against me to send. No, I I, I stand people in here. I, I thought you were gonna fall asleep way earlier, and so like. A while ago, I messaged the Discord and was like, if anybody has the number of someone there right now, can you please text them and have them make him Don't a cup of that. coffee? No, this was yeah. hours ago. If it was going to happen, it would have happened. No, I know. I was up there getting the coffee, and like Fish was like, oh. he was running in there to like, make some coffee. And like, I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm okay. Like, I'm, I'm really fucking high, but I'm able to do like normal things. Do you think you'd be able to enjoy like a show or anything at this level? Or are just you out no? of your goddamn mind? Wait, I, I can't. I can't enjoy. Wait, sitting still. Oh, Kyle, are true. you gonna want to have your eyes open or your eyes closed? It's gonna be a mixed bag. What do you wish All you right. were doing right now? So hold on, I have a good rec. Yeah, if you watch Simsara, I'm not watching anything. What is no, Sims- no, no. There's what is no. There's no speaking in it. I don't want to watch is... anything. I think okay, I want to watch play. like. It's 4K cinematic shot. Oh no, that'll terrify me. I can't deal <laughs> okay. with that. Can't deal with that. You're right, there is like a meatpacking industry part. <laughs> you, might, you might just be Jesus like... Christ. I what do you to... wish you were doing right now, Kyle? Lying in my cool sheets, listening to this uh, YouTube video that I go to sleep with. That's like thunder and lightning, uh, and, and, and like a rainstorm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, Kyle. Okay. Do you want to hear about the only time that I think I've been as high as you? Hit us up. Yeah. yeah. I hope it's scary. So 
It's not scary, but it's kind of, I think it's pretty interesting. So uh, my friend, my best friend Chaney was playing a music festival called Hard Summer in the middle of July in L.A. It was at this place called the Glen Helen Amphitheater. It's kind of like in San Bernardino, so an hour away from L.A. in the desert, an hour east towards Nevada. And um, it's up in this nice little amphitheater. It's in like a mountainside. There's one road in, we're on one road out. She's playing at like noon. It's fucking hot. It's it is what it is. But we get there early because I love her. She opens the festival. Of course, once she's done at one, we rip some shots. I haven't eaten. She hasn't eaten. We go backstage and they mm-hmm. have artist food carts and some other stuff. And there's a weed stand. And I'm like, oh, my God, free weed. Like, yeah, of course. It's Snoop Dogg's weed company. Apparently, mm-hmm. he's going to come through, but it's his weed company. They're sponsoring, so they give each of us a goodie bag. And there is a bag of chips, a soda, like um, this like tincture thing, whatever. I'm hungry. I'm hanging out. Like I'm not really thinking too much about it. And so I drink a soda and eat two bags of the chips. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, man, these probably do have weed in them, maybe like a 25 milligram or whatever. And I look at the bag, and the bag is 250 milligrams. Wait, of chips? Of chips. There's wait, right? there's weed chips? Weed chips and the weed soda. The soda was Did 80 they milligrams gross? each. No, I mean, I don't know. I was kind of drunk at that point, but uh-huh. it doesn't matter. So I've eaten two bags of these. It's not 250 milligrams. The whole amount that I ate was 250 milligrams, the two mm. bags and the and the soda. So I'm like... Oh man, this is going to be a real problem. It's 1 p.m. The festival ends at midnight. <laughs> like we have a very long time. Um, like around 3 p.m., I'm kind of out of it. Whatever. Like really seriously, super tired. Like kind of drooling on myself. Type beat. Never yeah. been this high in my entire life. And my friend Cheney's like, "We got to get you home." And I was like, yeah, you know, it's probably for the best. I can skip day one of the festival. It's not that big of a deal. She walks me to the entrance of the festival and she goes, go get an Uber. And I'm like, okay, I love you. Thank you for taking care of me. Mm-hmm. The problem is that from that point on, I couldn't find the Uber lot. I don't know what the issue was, <laughs> but I remember being it. so high that I couldn't fucking find the Uber lot. And I kept walking and walking and there were so many cars, like a huge line down this one road in. I couldn't fucking find the Uber lot. So I kept walking and eventually I went to an intersection and I finally got an Uber to pick up. And the lady was sitting right next to me and she goes, what the fuck are you getting an Uber picked up here for? I was like, I couldn't find the Uber lot. And she goes, this is... This is a highway home ramp. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I got in her car and she drove me back to the hotel. And I get there and I order a pizza. The pizza comes like 10, 15 minutes later because it was from the room service. And then my mm-hmm. friends walk in. And they're like, oh, so how you been? I was like, I don't know, man. I got here like 15 minutes ago. I got a pizza. And they're like, you left eight hours ago. What happened? It's like, I couldn't find the Uber lot. I walked down the mountain. <laughs> and, I, and, like, and like I finally managed to get an Uber to pick me up at the highway entrance. So... I will never again do that much edible. How did the rest of it go? How long did it take you to come down? I don't know. I fucking ate pizza and went to bed. I can't remember. It was like, it was not great. I, I and, spent, Kyle, <laughs> the I'm, ticker. I'm high. Very I'm just high. straight up I'm not, not having, having a good, good time. time. <laughs> oh, I like, I'm empathizing with you so hard. Me too. That, that has got to be kudos Probably to you for awful. eating that amount of weed <laughs> for the show. Should be a trophy or a belt. Should be. We should give you a bat, like a what Pokemon. Kind of, you guys badge. should. How much could it cost to make one of those like WWE belts? But it's like a tasteful, yet yet. I would like a hundred bucks. Maybe, I, I would. Do I would a like subreddit a, no. contest. I would like right? a badge. Who designs the best? You want a badge? I, I want a badge. I want a like badge. a like a pin badge that you can put on a jacket, right? What do we you want it give to him say? A ribbon for every time he gets. I don't high. know. Have you ever seen like the SS biggest retard in Colorado? Have they had the. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, the SS caps. Super stoned. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm wearing my no, I just have a oh dozen super stone tattoos. After a certain amount of time passes though, you'd know if the cat was alive. Yes, that's true, right? Like you can yeah. just wait twenty one years or something. The cat's certainly dead by now. Yeah. What an idiot. I mean <laughs> you fuck you, fuck you you fucking figured it out. Where's the Fucking mountain idiot. start? Just <laughs> wait. Just wait twenty years till the cat dies, dumbass. <laughs> it's like, where does Theseus's ship end? <laughs> where, uh, is it Theseus uh, or Theseus? I don't know. Theseus. Theseus's yeah, Theseus. ship. 
Oh yeah, thanks. where's his where when does his ship become uh fucking not new anymore? So what they his... do is you've got Theseus's ship, they replace one. Oh plank wait, on this it. is great, Kyle. When does Theseus <laughs> explain the solution to Theseus's ship? Are you out of your goddamn mind? <laughs> He doesn't know what these the ship audience is might anyway. Not know what it is? I was trying to. So, <laughs> oh, oh, go for it, Woody. So you have his ship, and yeah. you take one board off it, you put it to the side, and replace that. It's the same ship, right? It hasn't changed boats. You take two boards off it, you put a new one in its place. Same boat, right? We all agree you, you, mm. you didn't get a different boat. Keep that process going until every board is replaced. At what point is it a new boat? Is it ever a new boat when every part has been replaced? And then. Yeah. If you say no, no, I guess you can repair a boat indefinitely, and it's never a different boat. Roger that. What if we took all the boards that we used to that, that we got from it and rebuilt it? Would that be the boat, or it's not the boat because the original one is the boat, even though it's been repaired indefinitely? Yeah, I mean, you can think about that with people too. Like, aren't all of our cells regenerated like fully every seven years uh, or so? Yeah, yeah. I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all the cells in your body that yeah. die and get replaced every seven years. Yeah. I mm-hmm. wonder, like every bone cell, every. But anyway, I've heard that before. It's probably true. The internet wouldn't lie to us about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. True. But it's uh, it's also uh, there's like an easier one. It's like where does the field stop and the mountain begin? Like if you have a field that goes into a mountain, at what point at the, the tall part? Stop? The mountain so begins the at the, the at the peak of the mountain. No, the the the, the part that well. I guess it's when it turns to rocks. That could be <laughs> okay, but the, imagine that it line. is all the same surface. Okay. But what if the grass goes quite a bit up the mountain? All right, so a hill. Let's say a, let's say a soft grassy hill. Where does the where does the where does the field start and stop, and where does the grassy hill? I'd I'd say a third of the way up. A third. It's at the bottom. But where's the bottom? <laughs> is the bottom? <laughs> it's so <laughs> bewildering to Kyle. Sure it's fuck not a third of the way what up, the, though. I, these are, I'm pretty sure these are all like those like. I want to contribute like... with a better conversation. I know this one's awful, people, but I can't. <laughs> I can't. Uh, well, then do your best. What do, do you, you got? Wanna, what do you got? Give us something. I don't have anything. Zach desperately okay. wants to I, know I, what I, he's I, what the weirdest thing he'd find in your cabinets is. Hmm. Ah, uh, a human head. I don't know, just sticky spots mostly. <laughs> yeah, sticky spots. That would yeah. be weird to anyone, though. Well, but, why do you have sticky spots? Yeah, if you're putting that, like, dishes back up there, yeah, it should just be like, water. Uh, I was thinking of like you know the drawer where you throw all the like extra condiments and like a little packet of honey. Ah, uh, that, uh, that there. And that was a little sticky spot, and really. you want to clean it, but like nobody knows. So yeah, there's there's nothing fun in my drawers. Drawer. It's just dishes and. Maybe like a junk drawer, you might find some rubber bands to play with. Like, I, Ooh. I don't know. We have some that is a good question. Like, antibiotics. What is something that's like genuinely weird that you would even keep in your home in the first place? Like, I can't, I have a baby sconce. Like, that's the weird. What does that thing. mean? I know sconce, sconce like a, is what goes on the wall. A light. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right, it's right, a, right. But it's like a baby. It's a cast iron baby where the head is the screwed in the uh, light. That's, but that's just, that's that came cool. with the house. That wasn't like, that wasn't the thing that I had. But that's the weirdest thing in this place. It's mounted it's to the not, wall right now? Yeah. Yeah, I can't think of anything that, if something is like upsetting, I don't want it in my home. You know? Like that baby head thing, it sounds funny for you, but I don't think I, Kyle exhaling <laughs> vehemently. Kyle's, Kyle's going through it. You know, I think you like have twelve minutes till the end of your your uh, suffering sentence. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it's just like I feel like you're really you're really getting the whole. You nightmare. fool! Do you think this ends in twelve mm. minutes? No, no but I think want, it could be much better. Nothing. Yeah, I think it can be much better. I'll eat another one. I'll, I'll be I think you should have too. better ideas than just be in the bed. Oh my goodness! Um, Maybe get a glass of water. Go sleep. Um, I'm definitely going. Definitely going to get some water. What? What is? Yeah. What is the most that you think you could do right now? Like, if you had to go buy a packet of crisps from no, you, the, the you supermarket, have to interact with people. That's do you think hard. you could get through the line? normally or like is walking even a struggle right now i would be worried that i was stumbling so much that like people would start worrying <laughs> yeah i think kyle, kyle if it would be more like all right if if 
like I can stumble like my way to the kitchen right now, like by leaning on walls and stuff. I'm sure, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm and I'm not just like fall down fucked up, but I'm going to stumble a little all around the corners. But uh, if I had to like go to a, like a quickie mart or something, no, too too daunting. Yeah, no, that w- scary. scary. You're you're literally built unlike any human I've ever like I. I don't think I would be coma. I would be catatonic if I had I, if I had half yeah. of what you had. I would be drooling on myself, and you'd probably kick me off the call. It would be all my oh, mouth yeah. is there's, so dry. There's a zero percent chance I could do half no. of that. I would have I would have kept my camera and mic on, and I would have gone to bed. Like I guarantee, <laughs> He's like I, 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 I would have got up for like a pee break, and I would have laid down and fallen asleep and just passed. Yeah, it. or I would have vomited. Like. That, that's probably kids. You can done. do weed responsibly, and it doesn't have to be this way, right? Yeah, Look but do you want to be cool? of weed? Don't ever do this. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't ever do this. Don't listen to Kyle. All right, Kyle is only saying this because he wants do to keep listen. this experience said, to himself. Kyle wants everyone to stay away from his precious experience. He doesn't want any of you to experience the glory, the euphoria that this man is going yeah. through. Look at his eyes. Run. He's loving it. Look at all the life truths he's discerning <laughs> right now. He's, he's lies. Is How, God real? He's speaking with oh. Bob Marley. <laughs> <laughs> A zombified Bob Marley. That's scary. How Bob Marley die. Bob Marley yeah. died from taking a thousand milligrams of marijuana. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember that classic story? Yeah, about that one. He flew too close to the sun. How did Jimi Hendrix die? Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Probably heroin. I think it yeah. was drugs. All the young artists who die, I assume heroin. I think even uh, didn't Chris Farley die because of heroin? You know what? It's got to be pretty fun if Why everybody there... keeps dying from it, right? It's got to be meth yeah. a little too, right? Well, no, you don't necessarily. You, you don't have to cross pollinate those at all. Like meth and heroin. Meth is far too. But you were saying they all die. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna heroin. go out, it's gotta be, it's gonna be Uh-oh. on heroin. Like if I had to make the choice. I, I, yeah, I, I don't think about celebrities dying from meth because meth is so like cheap and everything. Like maybe they'll have like a coke overdose or something. Like, huh. it seems like it's mostly pills and heroin though. Opiates. That's why we gotta make America smoke more weed. We do. We got we gotta get rid of that opiate huge opiate problem all over the country. People I was thinking, Oklahoma, you listen to me. Yeah, Oklahoma, Jesus Christ. I think they're like for the, you. Aren't they yeah, like the worst in the country I'm, with it? Like they're so bad. So many like more people are dying from that than like fucking probably car. What are we talking about? Uh, oh, the, the opiate addiction. the opiate oh, epidemic with like Oklahoma. people. I know. Smoke, you know? Opiates. Yeah. yeah. I think it's it's a pretty significant uh, reduction would, in opiate addiction or opiate related deaths or hospitalizations once legal weed is legalized, lead is legalized. <laughs> I would have guessed the opiates hit like the Kentuckys and yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All like of that. that Every all of the flats is what I call them. All the flyovers. <laughs> Disgusting. All the I don't flats. Even... Kentucky's not a flat. I swear to God, it should I'm gonna, be. I'm gonna <laughs> okay. talk all to the all squares. my squares. I'm gonna talk to all my trucker friends. Tell them to stop shipping to wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> Liberal California. All those liberals in California eating. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. And like. Uh, California is actually a huge farming state. It's like, really? Yeah, are you going to subsist uh, on? Are you going to subsist on almonds, moron? Yes, seven billion dollars in almonds every year, and it only takes up all of the water in four <laughs> of our states. Okay, all right. And I don't want to hear anybody complain about it. All right? And I won't this because I love almonds. I love the smokehouse almonds from there's, Blue Diamond. Listen, so I won't. Oklahoma <laughs> is not bad at all with regards for opiate. Uh, look up Idaho. Idaho. We're just looking at what are the worst opiate states. I know I it's like uh, Missouri's or no, Missouri's terrible with meth. Not Missouri's not great. Baltimore's Baltimore's heroin. The worst is sure. Ohio, West Virginia, Maryland. Uh, I don't believe. And don't New believe Hampshire. the stats. Don't believe the lies. These are all wrong. It are sounds we sharing like they No, I guess. Not. No, it's got to be the Midwest. They have nothing else. <clears throat> Oh, damn, we're, in, we're in a bad color. It has to be you know those what? Midwest states that are not the worst. These at are all. deaths. These people don't know how to take opiates. Look, that's why the <laughs> lowest is in the mid. All right. They've been taking opiates for years. They're veterans. Nebraska, what else are they doing over there besides Oxy? 
You're not why included. Is, why is why not? What are, they hi- what are they hiding? They're hiding <laughs> shit. <laughs> right? I knew it. They would, they would have been included in this. What are they hiding? Behind. They're hiding the fucking data. They could break their little freaking shade ah, of red son measuring of a bitch. stick and be, come in solid darker red. Mm. How how the hell is Iowa so great and Missouri so terrible in this one? I get. Is it coming in from Ohio through Kentucky? Well, they could just not stop in Louisiana or. Uh, I don't you know, believe the, the this. Who, the cite your sources uh, on this. Zach, can you delete all the state names and we can play the state game again? <laughs> I feel we'll pretty confident. The, we'll in just this. play the I'm state game to, to round out the six. <laughs> 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 That's so Let's funny. Play, you had people can we play saying GeoGuessr? <laughs> you had people saying that was the best part of the show. <laughs> I, even as we were doing it, I'm like, this is awful. Like, this is- <laughs> Dude, I was into it. I, I, you know, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Wisconsin. That's Louisiana. Guys, and you're that's like, this my, is terrible content. That's and my content like, every oh. Friday. On GeoGuessr? It's, Except they don't know yeah. where you are. Yeah, no, but I've done the Guest of States game. You should All have right. every guest do this, and this is their, like... <laughs> like like a like the the the, the show uh, IQ I, test. Yeah, is <laughs> tough because he's lived on both coasts. But uh, I can name I can name every state. No problem. Tucker, what's two states above Texas? <laughs> two We're states doing above it. Texas. <laughs> yeah. Nebraska. My <laughs> eh, eh, wrong. What? Two states above Texas. That is Kansas. It is Kansas. Yeah, it is very long. I was Wait, there. Wait, what? That's Kansas? Yeah, Where's Oklahoma Nebraska? and Kansas share that large border. No, you Where? said two states. Oh, I'm so dumb. I did three states. My bad. Okay, what's the next state up? Damn. What? Uh, South Dakota and then North Dakota. No, three states up. Uh, you were correct. Three states up. Yeah, is I Nebraska. know. I know. You said the next. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You said two uh, states up, and I'm just. I, I meant Nebraska, but one. I can see how. Believe it or not. What's the next one could have been taken? You, uh, you know what? I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Take it off. Get it off the screen. <laughs> No, I had Why? more. I'm addicted to opiates. <laughs> Don't laugh. Uh, <laughs> Been taking no, oxy every, since every, I got my wisdom teeth removed. Every time we we don't know what to talk about, we just pull <laughs> up a map of the states and just, quiz each other on them. Like, hey, what's the capital? South Dakota. South Dakota. Bismarck. My Twitch stream took great offense to the fact that Kyle didn't do his edible last week, and it was four hours and twenty minutes long. They felt like that was insult to injury. I feel like it's abusive. I didn't even to realize keep Kyle. We did that. <laughs> Kyle strategically disconnected his camera so he could leave right now. Oh no, he's just resting slowly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. how ah. you doing, Kyle? You know, I just uh, taking a one, one, one step at a time. You know what's great about this is mm. that when you really think about it, you only have eight more hours. It's only a full work day. Wait. Oh, after this, his flight's eight hours away? No, his, how high he's going to be high for oh, eight hours. Oh, how long he'll be high. Yeah. But he won't be like shitty high for no. eight hours. Like, he'll be shitty hours. high for like three hours. Yeah. He'll taper off like three hours. In three me. hours, I'll be able to, to do things again. Maybe. You better but, hope. It might happen. You might be like this forever. Simmer down. Sim, simmer down. <laughs> simmer down. You're right. I'm sorry. That was rude. She's saying he's going to be like this forever. Is it going to be but, like this you know, forever? He could be. Well, <laughs> well, let's hope not, right? I hope Imagine not. how shitty this yeah. show's going to be if Kyle's Sometimes. a vegetable the whole time you oh, have to God, let him in. <laughs> well, you got to start yeah. making a joke of it then after a while. Like, like, like. <laughs> You know what? What was funny, though, is like I made some like low effort bad jokes while you were stoned. I'm getting huge laughs from yeah. Kyle on these on these shitty low effort jokes and and I like that. But you should be somewhat high on every episode. I, See, I, if we just moderate this, it's going to be a while after this. It's going to be a no. While. You you say that, but <laughs> you're going to be high in two days. So no, <laughs> no, no. There, we, there's going to be a break. <laughs> be just this residual. has been a, <laughs> be a tolerance break until he gets home. Eye opening experience, a sobering experience. That's so ironic when you say it's going to be a sobering experience for you. Whew. This is uh very intense. Yeah. It uh I'm I, sorry for you. I, I underestimated I underestimated just how uh intense. Isn't this he is having a good time? 
No, no. he's had Kyle's having a horrible. Um, everybody knew it would be a bad time, but I'm I do apologize that you're not having a good time. Kyle, what type of fun do you think you're having? <laughs> uh Woody, could you explain to me? No, 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 no. No, we're not doing that. What type of fun are you having? I was pretty quick witted for <laughs> yes. as high as you are. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the different types of fun are, and I don't wanna know. I hate that there are different types of fun. There's I, believe, I, I frankly alone. don't believe that there are types of. You're not alone. What, what do you, can you can you imagine taking I, forty times as much as what you took? Because that's where Kyle no, is his at. mind can't grasp it. It's like explaining like a like the magnitude of the Richter scale. Yeah. Like yeah, three, like a four point oh, yeah, five point oh is ten times worse. And you're like, I don't get that. that well, this is a bad scale. Make it of a hundred. Yeah, and it's like, all right, it's fucking awful every time. It's ten thousand times the Richter worse. Scale do that for real. Yeah, it's, it's a like logarithmic a, scale. Yeah, and so it's like uh, orders of magnitude bigger every time, but that yeah. doesn't really sell it. Like they need to have a scale that goes to a hundred, or even better, a scale that goes to a thousand, so they can be like, "This is an eight hundred ninety-seven." Yeah, yeah, but the problem is that if it goes to a thousand, uh, it need to go like ten million because like the difference between a <laughs> one and a one and a five is that's five even magnitudes. cooler. Yeah, yeah, it's logarithmic. Right. So it's a so nine million like, earthquake, and you're just like, shit, we're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, nah, man, you're only half up the scale. It's a five point oh from the old one. <laughs> There's a five hundred like, million. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just like like an anime at this point, like Giga Death. <laughs> you're like, oh man. Yeah, like when you would. Uh, like, I, I've never gotten into anime very much, but I mm. even remember watching uh, Dragon Ball Z after school. And oh yeah! All the time, like an episode would end with one of them like, ah! and like the then the next episode would start, and they'd be like, and the thing that they said was world destructive power would be like, and it pales in comparison to what he can do, and then it would be some other guy who can make an even bigger ball of power. Not a very good show. No, incredible show because it taught you that no matter what happens, you could just die and get resurrected again. And rules yeah. didn't really apply to you. Which show is this? Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Z. Oh. Yeah, way, way also, past. Also, Balma was hot as yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's, it's pretty meme heavy. 9,000 over 9,000. That's from yeah. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Probably. Yeah. It's probably. <laughs> probably. Super more Saiyan. Likely, yeah, you nailed it. Uh, I'll say more yeah. likely than not. <laughs> <laughs> that it's from there. I was so, pretty sure. I didn't see it. Right all right, we... Let you guys want to call let's the get, show and let, let yeah, Kyle, yeah, let's get Kyle uh, go to bed. disappear. All right, He's got the snake bite. So you got to check out 565. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know when i sobered up i do know that so Col i'm gonna do everything in colorado time um i think we finished the show at about 9 p.m mm -hmm. i had to be at the airport at 4 a.m <laughs> so you got seven hours to recoup but well but i you know it's an hour drive according to my uh According to my phone, turned out it was only like 30 minutes, but the driver was like, is it okay if I just run a few errands? And I was just like, I was so high, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> what a bizarre driver. <laughs> She's like, I need to gas up and uh, I need to, I you need know, to go to the bank. That. I'm going to stop by that. She stopped by the Dollar General or something like that. Um, and you're just so high in the I'm back. Just in the back of the car. <laughs> in like, the, are you in the parking lot by yeah. yourself in the back of an Uber yeah. high as and, shit? And, and just like when you got a kid in the car, she's like, you want anything? And I'm just like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just, I'm, just high, <laughs> I'm just so high right now. I hope you eventually get me to the airport. But yeah, when I walked out the door to go to the airport at, I believe, 3 a.m., like something like that, three or four a.m. somewhere in there. Um, the uh, the guys were like seeing me off. We were all outside. Um, I had been sm I smoked cigarettes when I'm on vacation. I smoked my final cigarette of the vacation, and mm -hmm. uh, and and I was out there. And I was just remember I just remember looking at the guys and just being like, I'm so fucking high right now. <laughs> 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 I was and just like they're like you got this, you got this. I'm like give me my drink. They're like give me my drink. I'm like finish the cigarette and throw it on the ground. I'm like. All right, goodbye. And, like, <laughs> and then right, the, goodbye. I, <laughs> staggered, I staggered into that fucking car and so began my morning 
and it felt like a day's travel just getting to like the airport, like through security and everything. <laughs> like, like every step of the way, there's this dumbfounded stoned brain moment where it's like travel documents. I need travel <laughs> documents. <laughs> well, I got my boarding pass. What's that other thing? All right. Everybody else has their license out. I'm going to do that. Like, yeah, I'm literally, I, yeah I, I'm, I'm, I'm really leaning on like looking around and seeing what everybody else is doing like a child or something like that. I'm like, is this one of the ones where they take the shoes off or no? Shoes off? Yeah, yeah, shoes off, shoes off, shoes off. All right. All right. Meanwhile, yeah. you like are looking probably like sweaty, like so, like you died and someone reanimated you with a spell. Yeah, I, uh, I I don't know, man. I It was one of the scarier um, things I've ever done. Thankfully, it went really smoothly. Um, and uh, and once I got on the aircraft, um, I flew back first class um, again. And uh, I because I couldn't have dealt with like the stress of being like crammed up mm -hmm. with two other people and not having a TV and not having like a charcuterie board. Yeah. Like, that's what, <laughs> like, like, like that was that's the, that was the option for my meal was it was like this cool cheese board uh, with like like uh, dry, dried salami and stuff. Nice. But when I landed in Atlanta at it would have been. I don't know, like 9 a.m., 10 a.m., Atlanta time. Mm -hmm. I'm still high. I'm still it's, high. It's, it's been, been over all 12 night. hours. It's been 12 hours now. Are you still uncomfortably high at that point, or just have you faded out a bit to just regular stuff? When I passed out the night before, I, was, I felt like I was at like a 9 out of 10. On my way to the airport, I felt like I was a 7 out of 10. Um, when I landed in Atlanta, I felt like I was like a five out of 10. And so I got my shit and, uh, I parked in like the long parking thing, like, like the, the, yeah. the long-term parking. Um, it's a significant, it's significantly cheaper. And, uh, by the time I got to my car, I was still like a four out of 10, I guess. So I just sat in my car for like an hour and a half, two hours or something like that. <laughs> I would, I would just like got outside my car and started walking around and like, puffing on my vape and fucking around on my phone i just did i wasn't good to drive i had to sober up <laughs> i had to sober up i waited until i felt like a hundred percent good to go again and then i got in my car and got home and i felt like days had passed it was like a lord of the rings type experience <laughs> like, like, like it was that 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 moment where like gandalf comes into the bedroom and frodo is all happy to see him it, one it does not awful. simply walk into Denver International. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Not when you eat a, a fucking pan of brownies. <laughs> I ate a pan of fucking brownies essentially, and then stumbled into Denver airports like six hours later. It was so scary. Like, like I don't know why Woody and I were both like, dude, delay your flight just a few hours, just a little bit. It would have cost. It would have cost five hundred dollars. No, it, like, like like extra. Oh shit. Okay. Well, that's that's at real least money. you don't want to do that. At least, and I felt like I could do it. I feel like I could do it. Like, 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 I felt like if I just put my mind to this and take, keep putting one foot in front of the other, eventually I'll be in Atlanta. And As an ex-athlete, okay. it yeah. every now and again I'm reminded that some of this ability was just taken from me when I wasn't looking. Kyle, you are an ex-stoner. You can't do the things you used to do anymore. You don't. Oh, you, you can't just do oh. a gram and go to the airport. You, uh, you're not the the stoner you used to be. I bet I'm if you glad. were to test Kyle right now with how low his body fat is, he'd piss clean. <laughs> oh, there's no way. I, 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 I smoked so much. I smoked so much this week. Um, I've been taking it really easy since I got back, um, mm -hmm. but I did buy Delta 8. I, um, I bought like the disposable like Delta 8 um, vape yeah. things, and, uh, and I bought some of the gummies. Um, I think I'll go back on what I said. I think – the, at this point, they don't get me as high as like lots of weed was getting me, but it is still mm -hmm. like a really powerful high. Um, from this brand in particular, I had a different brand that wasn't as. There we go. It wasn't <laughs> as strong, um, but uh, but yeah, I think that shit's like the Wild West right now. And uh, yeah, some of the brands much. are definitely better than others. Like you go in there and you ask the lady, or I do, that works at the store, and she'll straight up be like, "This brand of gummy." Everybody says that they're not getting nearly as high. This brand, this Moonwalker brand, everybody raves about it. That's why when you come in here, it's always gone. And I last time I went in there, this is like a week or two ago. And I was like, so th I know these are good. Are you going to be getting another shipment for a while? She's like, 
I don't know. It's up in the air. I'm like, yeah, why would why would you know when your next shipment is? You're only the proprietor. And I was <laughs> like, okay, I'll take all of the watermelon ones. And she's oh. like, so like, like two, three. And I'm like, the whole line, all, all of the watermelon are mine. So I got four of these 50 piece gummy containers. How and much this were they? A long time. Is this like 150 dollars worth of wheat? Like 150 bucks. Yeah. For an amount that's that's good. I'm still on the first container and it's got a lot in it, so it'll last a while. I wanted to ask Kyle because, like, as you were stoned to shit on the show, you kept making little passing comments like, "I'm so I'm I'm gonna have to take a nice long break from this Mm -hmm. for a while, like a nice long break from weed." And I know that's the same as being like so drunk you feel like you're gonna vomit and you're like, "I'm never drinking this poison again," and then like. You know, time passes. Did you take that whole next day off just to like reset yourself, or by that night were you like, "Oh, I'll get a little toasty"? Um, yeah, I I didn't smoke um right away. I think I skipped that whole day for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I've just been like sort of tentatively using this Delta Eight. Um, because I don't want to be like high all day, but I'm um, just like getting yeah. high at night mostly, and like it's it really it's really good for going to sleep, but um. <clears throat> I, I've I've never been as scary high as uh, as that edible. I did not enjoy that. It didn't look fun at all. Mm-hmm. Did, like the the like last hour of the show, like Tucker and I would start talking about something, and I'd be like, Kyle, what do you think about this? We're talking, trying to get you back in, and you'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> like, all right thanks for that and uh, so tucker what else do you think about this and what he's sitting there like you know i i feel i don't feel bad but i just i've got a case of the whatevers right now <laughs> like, like do i want to talk right now whatever <laughs> okay. yeah taylor had would you have a alcohol or something to keep you chatty yeah yeah i, I did I not have that I had I was coffee just like, did what, this clock is gonna tick whether i talk or not yeah. and i'm not a good host high i don't think I, yeah, i'm not i'm not i'm not that high good god good god like like, like oh, oh that was yeah. awful that was i was i was i was in a coma i was in a coma <laughs> I'm very high and I have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is what I said. And that's what I meant. I was trying to like at least form like cogent thoughts. So I would be like, all right, we've got a thing. We've got a thing to say. Let's start working on it now. Start on it now. <laughs> like five minutes later, you say it and say, like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of missed the train. Um, I had that, um, that, that crazy, like, <clears throat> like I could feel it. Like like mm-hmm. like kind of thing like 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 uh, hallucination type thing. It was really wild. Um, <clears throat> I hadn't been thinking about just how bad it was going to be. Somehow I had just kind of convinced myself that it wasn't a big deal. And uh, <laughs> you know when you've got something big coming up like that that like you don't want to do like like jury duty or mm-hmm. a court appearance or fucking. Um, you know, anything like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know why it always goes back to that for me. <laughs> it's something you really don't want to do. Um, Most people say job interview, but not you. <laughs> no. no, prison. <laughs> no, when you've got something coming up and you're avoiding it and there's somebody in your life who's like, hey, that thing's tomorrow, right? Hey, that thing, that thing's tomorrow, right? Why aren't you talking about that thing that's tomorrow? That's how fish was. She's like, oh, you're, you're eating that poison tomorrow, right? You're eating poison <laughs> tomorrow, right? In front of all the people. I was like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but it's tomorrow, right? He's like, yeah, yeah. Did you get everything? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah. Fish like, is just like, haunting you, and like, trying so to cool. stress you out. What do you think it's gonna be like? <laughs> I, I bet it's gonna bad. be horrible. <laughs> it's gonna be real bad, huh? I was like, thinking like, about you. Oh. Like, what if you're in there and you just start seeing demons and all the worst things that have ever happened to you in front of all those people, Kyle? Won't that be awful? Wouldn't you cry? It doesn't do that. No, I don't know. I've never had people. No, it doesn't do that. It doesn't. But, but, it, but, like, you don't want to, like, you don't want to put that evil on yourself, right? You know, like, if you're going to take something that's in, that's impairing. Kyle. Yeah. You're legal troubles first started like four or five years ago i forget we looked it up was yeah. it 2018 i think it's four years ago okay and then all that time there's been you know a, a guillotine hanging over your head and in a finish line at the end of this you have finally crossed the finish line the colorado trip we've been looking forward to for ages has happened is there any kind of let down now now that like like now what 
No, I'm so I'm so like this has been a good few days. Like this last couple of days, I've been okay. really happy because it's like I am sort of getting. It's like um when uh when like a dog's been like locked in a kennel and you open the door and for a while he's just kind of like sniffing. Like, hey, what's yeah. this? Is this other? I can go out there, huh? So right now I'm sort of like thinking <laughs> of the real? places. That, yeah, I'm, right now I'm sort of like thinking of the places that I can go now because I, I was like, oh yeah, I'd like mm. to do that. I could. I mean, I could just I could book a flight right now and go and do that thing or this thing or the other. So yeah, the part of, uh, that that's been a big part of it. Um, <clears throat> I got such bad dry mouth from this shit though. Ugh. Is that Delta Eight? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been uh, it, that's been a big part of it. Um, sort of like getting comfortable with like the idea that it is kind of over now and I can kind mm-hmm. of go about my business on a daily basis. And if I wanted to, I could have a beer or, you know, go see my dad without asking for permission or yeah. just, I don't know, for the fuck of it, drive to Tennessee like I used to, um, you know, just stuff like that. Well, I, I know how much you've been looking forward to a nice cold beer. <laughs> for not so really, no. I, no. Although, I know, of not. although you know, when you're not allowed to have something, you kind of do, right? Like, like mm. I bet if I told Woody, like, if, if I was like, "Woody, do you want a beer?" and he was like, "No," I was like, "Good," because you're not allowed them anymore, right? And then for the next three years, I'm denied them. At and, the end of it, I'd want uh, margarita, and, and, and like I start making, <laughs> I start making like lots of backyard barbecues, part of his life as <laughs> as, as a demon, like like, yeah. like hey, Cinco de Mayo. Everybody's got. <laughs> Everybody's like everybody's popping their dosaki at the same time. You're, 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 now you're now everybody's like cool thing is lighters. You're, yeah. looking, at, you're looking at everyday carry lighter uh, uh, bottle openers, trying mm. to get into bottle culture. It's not working. <laughs> you're not allowed. Culture. You're not allowed to have the beer. <laughs> so you're always thinking about. It. I wish Kyle would let me have that beer. Have you seen those <laughs> bottle openers that you can put on top and then you open it and then you can hit a button and it shoots it. Yeah, shoot the bottle out. Uh, yeah, seems like yeah. a bad idea. Terrible at, idea. At best, you're littering. Thank you.